Slam that like button if you love cookies. I love cookies. I'll slam the like button. Mmm, delicious. In this video. Um, why would we want to be bad? That's, that's not very nice. Being good is nice. Oh, whatever with your stupid SpongeBob t-shirt and your silly clothes and your silly faces. I don't want to, being a baddie means you have to figure it out for yourself. Or maybe I should start with a face because, um, I feel like the face is better than, look at my shirt though. I look so cute as a, as a nerd. Buddy, which way to be a baddie's heel? Guys, I literally just put mean girl into the search and um, everything I was looking for just came up. So what's that say about being a baddie, guys? Um, that they're mean? All right. Look at this face, guys. Oh, I have, do I have to buy it? I think I have to buy it. $65 to be a baddie? Okay, worth it. Not a chance. You couldn't get with me, nerd. I'm amazing. And I'm a baddie. I'm a baddie. Come on, Daisy. Let's play some soccer. No! Molly, where did you get that shirt? Isn't it adorable? <laughs> I love Spongebob. Yeah. It is pretty cute, I have to say. Where did you get it? I might want one. Uh, Daisy, get out of the road. Here comes a car. Oh, look. It's two losers. Hey, you ran over a soccer ball. Rude. O-M-G. That was so rude. Whatever, losers. <laughs> You'll never be a baddie like me. <laughs> Um, why would we want to be bad? That's, that's not very nice. Being good is nice. Oh, whatever with your stupid SpongeBob t-shirt and your silly clothes and your silly faces. Ooh. Whoa, she's rude. See you later, losers. Bye. Oh my God, Daisy, what are we gonna do? I don't wanna be a loser. We are gonna become baddies. Uh, I don't know about that. You know I'm not really into fashion and all that. Maddie, just try, okay? We need to fit in in Brookhaven, all right? All right, um, okay, um, yeah, all of my nerd shirts are pretty much not gonna work then. But look how adorable it is. Maddie, enough of the nerd shirts. Okay, let me type in baddie. I wanna see what comes up. No results found? Yeah, yeah Marty. Yeah, Being a yeah, baddie means yeah. you have to figure it out for yourself. Or right, maybe I should start with a face because um, I feel like the face is better than... Look at my shirt, though. I look so cute as a, as a nerd. Marty, which way to be a baddie's heel? Ah! Guys, I literally just put mean girl into the search and um, everything I was looking for just came up. So what's that say about being a baddie, guys? Um, that they're mean? All right. Look at this face, guys. Oh, I have, do I have to buy it? I think I have to buy it. $65 to be a baddie? Okay, worth it. Totally worth it. Here we go, guys. Now I'm going to have the baddie face. Oh, my gosh. Buddy, you look so different. Jesus, what's going on with your hair right there? That's really weird. You should usually get rid of that hair for sure. All right, guys. Now I'm going to go in and get some baddie hair. Let's get, oh, first I have to remove my other hair. Do not laugh at me, guys. Okay, don't laugh at me. <laughs> um, okay. Can I put in, like, mean girl hair? I'm gonna try it. Mean girl hair. Oh, we came up with stuff, guys. Like, look at this one. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, I know for a fact that, um, baddies definitely have to have giant eyelashes. I know... Because I've seen the girls at my school wearing these giant eyelashes. They're very important. Oh, God. Why did I say I was going to be a baddie with Molly? This is, like, such a bad idea. Um, it's a great idea. And look at my eyelashes. They're going to be amazing. Wow. All right, guys. Let's try these ones. They're, like, giant. What? Why are they coming out of my eyebrows? Okay, that is weird. Let's try again. They're all coming out of my eyebrows. I may have to not have the eyelashes just because... I don't know why, but they just look like really weird. <laughs> this isn't even over my eyes. Weird. Ooh, let's try this one. No, none of them work. Okay. Eyelashes are beautiful, just as they are. So whatever. I'm a good enough baddie. And if you don't think so, well, then you're not cool. And I am. All right, let's put in like mean girl outfits. Mean girl outfits and see what comes up. 
Good thing you can cheat at this and like put in Mean Girls outfits. You don't have to like know yourself. Like some of these are ridiculous. This is like the Grinch. Like look at this. <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Anyway, um, why is that not clicking off? Oh God, now I'm stuck wearing the Grinch outfit. Ooh. Seriously, no. No, no, and no. I need a baddie outfit. What's this one say? So fetch. <laughs> Old school. Um, all right. So I'm still looking for the best baddie outfit ever. Dizzy, I don't think that's the best baddie outfit. What do you know about being a baddie? Um, I'm pretty bad every time I don't do my homework. And that's like always. So I don't know. I think I look adorable though. Um, but what about like, oh my God, look, there's a book, there's a shirt that has burn book on it. Oh, that is so cool. Still not what I'm going to wear though. But you take it forever. Okay. Everybody, we're going to speed this up. How's this, Molly? Uh, you look like a goth girl, but I guess that's okay. I mean, you look kind of bad. <gasps> but also, baddie is just like my look. I look amazing. I'm just saying. Whoa, Molly is all of a sudden like totally full of herself. She thinks she looks amazing. Uh, I do. So the first thing we need to do is have a car. Well, Molly, we don't have a car, just bicycles. Then I suggest that we borrow mom or dad's because, uh, yeah, we need a car. Let's go ask dad. Hey, who are you? And where's my pizza? Uh, if you're from DoorDash, then you forgot my pizza. Uh, Dad, no, it's me, Molly. And to be Daisy. What? But, but you're my little girls. Where are my little girls at? Dad, we're dressed up as baddies. Wow. Dad? Dad? Oh, my God, that made him disappear. It freaked him out so much. No, I'm right here, spasming on the floor. You used to be little babies just yesterday. <sighs> I have a good idea. Let's make Dad up like a baddie. What? No, that's weird. No, it's not. Let's do it. Dad, do you want a baddie makeover? Um. Haha, <laughs> Dad, no choice. You're doing it. Oh, no. This is going to go badly. Ow. <laughs> Dad, that's so you. Um. Ah! Dad, would now be a good time to ask you if we can borrow the car? If it means I can get out of these... Tight shorts, sure, and wipe this makeup off my face. Okay, Dad, fine. Um, ah! The washcloths are in the bathroom. There's some makeup remover in there. See you later. Come on, Batty Kitty. I'm in. Let's go. What are we going to do first? Well, the first thing we're going to do is go shopping because isn't that what baddies do? Yeah, but we have no money. What are we going to do about that? Um, we're going to go to the bank and rob it. We're baddies. Turn around. Marty! What? It's just Roblox. Come on. Live a little. OMG! Molly is about to go rob a bank. Molly? No. Molly and Daisy are about to go rob a bank. Now let's go. Daisy, put the pedal to the metal. This is a sports car, not a granny car. Sorry, Molly. Cheap was your bossy as a baddie. <laughs> Let's go blow up the safe. Now, where is that explosive that I was going to use to open this door? Why did I forget my backpack? I guess baddies don't carry backpacks. Molly, we could just use the key card to open the door. Where'd you get that? I stole it out of the desk. Hey, you didn't let me in. There you go, cheapos. All right, can we use that to actually open this? Um, not really sure. Never robbed a bank before. Let's try it. Nah, we're gonna have to blow this part up. Kaboom! Uh, Molly, I think we should probably stand back. Holy guacamole! We're gonna blow up the safe. This is gonna be amazing. Stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! I just robbed stacks of cash! Molly, get in before the police get here! I'm such a baddie, they can't even catch me. Daisy, what are you doing? You're the driver. Hurry up before we get caught. We're so bad that we're going to drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> oh, wow. That's super great. We'll get in a car crash, and then we can't be baddies anymore. Oh, whatever, Molly. 
So should we go shopping or should we just be like rude to people? Isn't that what a baddie does? I say we try being rude to people, but I don't know. I'm pretty nice, so probably we can. Let's go to the library and pick our nerds. <gasps> yeah, that's what baddies do. Look at all my money. Look at, look at my lipstick. Look how rude I am. Nerd alert, nerd alert. I don't actually know if I can like say that because normally I wear a SpongeBob t-shirt and like this feels so out of my personality, but here we go. <laughs> Hi, you want to read a book with me? Uh, want to um, not be such a nerd? Was that a good insult? Yeah, Molly. Look at all our cash. We're rich baddies. <laughs> That's cool, but do you want to read a book with me? What are you, a robot? Is that all you know how to say? Sorry, you guys are just so pretty that I can't even think straight. <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. We are so pretty. <laughs> Molly? Sorry, <laughs> this baddie had a bean burrito for lunch. Molly, baddies don't fart. Um, correction, everybody farts, right, nerd? That's right. It's a human being thing. Everybody farts. <laughs> you seem like a dream girl to me. I like bean burritos. Oh, you smell a little bad, though. <laughs> Not a chance. You couldn't get with me, nerd. I'm amazing. And I'm a baddie. I'm a baddie. Come on, Daisy. Leave the nerd alone. Come on, Daisy. Let's go get some Starbucks. Um, baddies always drink Starbucks, and um, they get an extra um large latte and it's so good because they get extra foam on the top yeah that sounds delicious we have so many stacks of cash we could buy a thousand of these well 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 what do we have here <gasps> what baddie competition i don't think so i'm the biggest baddie in brookhaven not anymore steph now i'm the biggest baddie Wait a minute, am I a baddie too, Hugh, or not? Yeah, you could be a baddie, but wait a minute. Oh, Molly and Daisy, the losers. You were wearing a SpongeBob t-shirt earlier today. Where did you get this makeover? It's called Roblox, you can be anybody you want. And right now, I'm a baddie. Look at my hair, look at my face, look at my eyelashes, look at my lips, look at my outfit, look at my car, look at my money. I'm way baddier than you. Uh, Molly, I uh, don't think that's the way English. Stop sounding like a nerd there, nerdy baddie. <gasps> Molly, how dare you say that to me? Uh-oh, this is going to be a baddie fight. Oh, no, here he goes again. <laughs> Will you go out with me? I don't mind farts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys are real baddies. The school nerd is, like, wanting to date you. Well, Molly, he sounds like your soulmate. Oh. Daisy, be quiet. He doesn't sound like my soulmate. No, we're, we're, get out of here. We're not dating. You're so dreamy, buddy. Um, no, 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 and no. Ah! I don't think you're a baddie at all. Looks like all the nerds love you. Well, maybe we should have a competition to see who's the baddiest of all. <gasps> uh, Molly, I'm pretty sure that Steph's gonna win. We'll find out. We'll find out. Do you think I'm an awesome baddie? Let's see what they say. <laughs> I can't wait to see what they say. Hello? What do you think? Am I an awesome baddie or not? Ha ha ha. Uh, no. What? Uh, but I look amazing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> One point for me. What do you think? Do you think I'm an awesome baddie? Okay, she doesn't care. All right, let's go ask other people in Brickhaven if they think I look like an awesome baddie. Uh, I don't know what you got going on there, girl, but okay, here we go. Um, am I an awesome baddie? I mean, I know you got wings and stuff, so you're cooler than I am, but here we go. Am I an awesome baddie? Hey, where you going? We're still talking. Okay. Let me go ask them. Am I an awesome baddie? <laughs> Come on, answer me, please. Am I an awesome baddie? I need to prove to this um, bully that I'm actually an awesome baddie. Anybody? Anybody answering? They think you're a loser. That's not what they're answering. Look at this girl. She looks like another baddie. So I'm going to go ring her doorbell. I'm going to ask her if she thinks I'm an awesome baddie. Hello? Is anybody home? I need you to prove that I'm an awesome baddie. Okay, I'm not sure anybody's home there. Um, let's go down the street and see if there's anybody else home that I can ask them. I'm gonna ask you one last time. Am I an awesome baddie? Come on, you better answer. There, 
whatever you are, fairy, just, um, just answer. <laughs> she thinks you're a loser. She doesn't want to talk to you. Am I an awesome baddie? You better answer. If you don't, I'm just going to tell you, you smell. You smell! Okay, this is... This is what this is what you would do if you were a baddie and they weren't saying what you wanted, stinky. <coughs> Who farted? <laughs> He's not saying anything. Are you even in the game? Am I a baddie? Huh? Huh? You gonna talk to me? Huh? Are you gonna? Please, somebody talk to me! No, you're a fart. Okay, well, I guess I sort of deserve that since I've been talking about farts in the server like for the last thirty minutes. <laughs> Hey, aren't I the best baddie ever? Like you've ever seen? What's a baddie? What, do you live under a rock? A, a baddie is me! Aren't I the best baddie ever? Just say yes, just say yes, please say yes! Hey, I'm the bestest baddie ever, right? You can be anything you want. That's right, I'm the best baddie! Say, say I'm the best baddie. Say I'm the best baddie, come on. I need to win this competition. I just need one person to say I'm the best baddie. You're the best baddie! Yeah. I'm the best baddie! I'm the best baddie! Wait a minute. Dad? That's right, honey. You can be anything you want to be. Dad! <laughs> His opinion doesn't even count. Steph? Oh, man, Dad. This was supposed to be a competition. And, well, you don't count. What? Dear old Dad can't. Tell you're the best baddie? I mean, I was just the best baddie, so you have to be the best baddie, too. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I cannot wait to tell Daisy this huge surprise. She's gonna be so excited! Daisy! Oh, Daisy! Whoa, it's dark in your room, Daisy. I'm gonna turn on a light. Molly, would you please get out of my room? I'm trying to gain. In the dark? Yeah, it's super fun this way. I feel like I'm really immersed in the game. Why are you in my room, by the way? Because I have a really big surprise. I don't believe you, Molly. I think it's just a lie. No, seriously, I have a really big surprise for you. I'm not even lying. I promise. Really, Molly? You have a surprise for me? What is it? Did you make cookies? Daisy, stop playing your computer. I'm going to tell you something cool. Oh, right. What is it? I talked to Mom, and she said, we can have a sleepover. Molly, we sleep over in the same house every single night. What's such a big surprise about that? No, silly. Brookie's coming over, and we're going to have a sleepover with her. OMG, that's amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I figured you would be. Now follow me into the kitchen. Why, Molly? I don't want to watch you eat another snack. It's all you ever do. Okay, well, I know that might be a little boring, but... Molly, I'm not watching you eat a snack. I'm not going to eat a snack, okay? I'm going to make some cookies. It's a celebration. Oh, I should make something too then. Oh, what should I make? Maybe some muffins or something, because I want to have variety then when Bookie's here. Oh, she's going to love that. Yeah, she's going to love your cookies a lot too, Molly. I hope so. They're chocolate chip. Ooh, those are my favorite. Me too. I kind of want to eat the cookie dough. Molly, don't eat the cookie dough. There's raw egg in that, you know. You'll get food poisoning. Yeah, I know. Mom always tells me don't eat the raw dough. It's gross. <laughs> Ooh, and I just got to bake them. Tell me, Molly, my food is in there. What? But, but my cookies are ready to go in. Well, maybe we can make room for your cookies, too. Maybe. Okay, let's see if they'll fit. Oh, never mind. They're done. Ugh, you're taking over the entire stove. Yeah, but now they're done, so don't whine, okay? Hey, guys, what's up? Brookie! Molly, what are you doing over there? Uh, I'm watching these delicious cookies bake. Wait a minute, you're making cookies? Absolutely! You're my bestest friend. Of course I'm going to make you chocolate chip cookies. But I made you blueberry muffins. Wouldn't you like to have some of those? No, she wants chocolate chip cookies. No, she wants blueberry muffins. Cookies! Muffins, Molly! Cookies! 
Um, guys, I'm really hungry. I just got done working out at the gym. I'll have one of each, please. She's eating my muffin first. That means she likes me battle. No, it doesn't. It just means that my cookies aren't out of the oven yet. Ouch, ouch. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, no. Did I burn them? <laughs> Mighty bunch of cookies. Only a couple on the top, Molly. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I don't mind a burnt cookie either. If you just dip, dip them in milk, it's still delicious. Mmm. Yum. Okay, Brookie, eat one of my non-burned cookies. Okay, Molly. Ooh, these look delicious. She's gonna like my muffins, battle. No, she's not! Who could that be? Everybody's here for the sleepover. Well, maybe it's a surprise guest. We aren't allowed to have a surprise guest, are we, Molly? I don't know. I only asked if Brookie could come over. Who is it? Hey, what's up? Can I come in? Uh, Sarah, what are you doing here? Oh, great. I'm so glad you opened the door. Finally, what could you be any more rude? Oh, Sarah, what are you doing here? <laughs> Ew, who farted? Sorry, it was me. <laughs> Those blueberry muffins kind of, well, made me gassy. <laughs> it's okay, Brookie. Ugh, yucky, stinky. Ugh, so gross. Total losers. Wait a minute. What are you doing in my house? And why are you eating all my cookies? Those are for my best friend. Oh, well, I guess I'm your best friend now because these cookies are mine. Someone said you were having a sleepover and, um, well, I'm here to crash it. Who told you there was a sleepover? Oh, I think that would be Brookie, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, guys. I just mentioned that I was really excited about coming to the sleepover. I saw Sarah at the library. I I'm really sorry. Oh, Brookie! Oh. Well, I guess it's going to be a party of four. Do you have anything to drink? I'm so thirsty. Uh, usually it's kind of rude to just get in someone's refrigerator. If you don't live there, that is. Oh, I just got in your refrigerator, Molly. Yeah, but you're my best friend, so okay. I don't even know what to say right now. Boy, Molly, talk about putting your foot in your mouth. <laughs> hey, don't drink all the milk. We need that for the cookies. Oh, wait. <coughs> Never mind. You ate all the cookies. Okay, so what are we doing at this sleepover? Well, I thought first we could um go jump on the trampoline for a while and swing on the swings and stuff. That sounds fun, right? Yeah, I guess. Whee! Come on, guys. This is so much fun. Marley, I don't know. Maybe our guests won't have fun at our sleepover. What are you talking about? I don't know. It just... I mean, Sarah was here and she's kind of rude. I'm having a great time. Don't worry about me, guys. Okay. Whee! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Blueberries make my stomach kind of crazy. <laughs> I knew you'd like the chocolate chip cookies better. I'll be right back. Uh-oh. I think Brookie had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Molly, do you think Sarah will ruin our sleepover? I don't think so, but I hope not. Speaking of Sarah, I better go check on her. Why isn't she outside? What is she doing? Oh, look at this! Molly's diary! What? Get out of there! Get off my computer right now! Okay, I gotta unplug my computer. Hey, I was using that! That is not yours! Now please go outside with everyone else at the sleepover! Fine. What a party pooper you are. OMG, Sarah. You're making me crazy. Ah, oh, finally. Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, don't worry about a thing, Daisy. Don't worry about a thing. Okay, I'm back. I hope you feel better now, Brookie. Totally. Why did she feel good? Oh, no reason, Daisy. Don't worry about anything. She didn't like your blueberry muffins. Molly, I didn't say that. Okay, it makes her stomach upset. Really? I'm so sorry. Oh, they were delicious, Daisy. Don't worry about a thing. Molly, don't be mean. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, guys, you want to go in and watch a movie? Sure, but where's the fourth person at? You know, Sarah? I don't know. Hopefully she's not getting herself into more trouble. <laughs> I just realized there's a snowman in the pool. <laughs> weird. Sarah, where are you? Sarah! Molly, where could she have gotten to? She's probably getting into trouble. I don't know. I don't see her anywhere. 
I'm gonna go back into the backyard and see if I can find her out there. Ugh, I want a pizza. This party's so lame. Sarah! Get, get out of my mom's car! What are you doing? See you later. I'll be back later, loser. Sarah! O-M-G! Daisy! Molly, is everything okay? Oh my gosh. No! Sarah just took my mom's car to go get pizza! What? Does she even have a driver's license? I don't know. But, um, I think I better call my mom. What's going on, guys? Bailey colored unicorn. Molly, get out in front of the TV. We have a bigger problem than that. What is it, Molly? I mean, you standing in front of Bailey colored unicorn really is a problem for me. Sarah just took mom's car to get pizza. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm going to go call mom. I'll be right back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. She's going to be so mad. She's going to be so mad. Hey, Daisy, what's going on? Mom, we didn't invite Sarah to our sleepover, but she came anyway, then she stole your car. What? Okay, I'll call the police and I'll be right home. Okay, are we all in trouble? No, Mom said that Sarah's in trouble. She's calling the police. Well, let's lock the door so she can't come back because I don't want her getting us in trouble. Good idea, Brookie. Now, come on, guys. Let's go watch a movie. Ooh, this looks like awesome. Molly, we've seen the Brightly Colored Unicorn movie before. Yeah, but Brookie hasn't. Oh, Brookie, did you want to stay here? No, I kind of like to sprawl out on the floor. I'm cool. All right. Well, have you seen this movie? No, I haven't seen it before at all. It looks really good. Hey, guys, thanks for inviting me over to this sleepover. Even though my blueberry muffins made you... Yeah, they were still delicious, Daisy. <laughs> I'm just blueberry intolerant. Even though that Sarah came and she was like being crazy? Yeah, that wasn't you guys' fault. I'm still having a really great time. I want to come to your sleepover like every day. Well, that would mean you'd live here. Yeah, you could be our sister! OMG. That would be amazing! <laughs> Daisy, let's ask mom. Molly, she already said no like twice this month. She's not going to say yes so we can get iPhones all of a sudden. Well, maybe if we just wear her down a little bit farther. You gotta just get us a time out, Molly. She's gonna get annoyed. We can ask her really nicely, and if she says no on the first time we ask, then we'll just stop, okay? Ah, <sighs> fine. But if she gets mad, this was your idea. All right, fine. It was my idea. Mom, mom! Oh, hey, Molly. What's going on? Hey, Daisy. What are you up to, Mom? Oh, I'm just washing my hands because I'm going to make some food. And, you know, I have to get baby Kira out from her nap. All that fun stuff. Um, Mom, uh, Daisy and I have a question. Um, okay. What is it? Shoot. Um, yeah, Molly, it was all of Molly's idea, so um, she could ask. Daisy, I thought we were in this together. No, you're in this by yourself. <laughs> I'm just here for more support. Okay, let me guess. You both want iPhones. How'd you know, Mom? You're such a genius. A mind reader. Molly, quit trying to say nice things to me just so I buy you an iPhone. No, Mom, I really think you are amazing. And the most beautiful mom in the entire world. You look so young. Have I ever told you that? Molly, haven't we already gone over this? Told you she was gonna say no. She always says no. Actually... This time, I'm not going to say no. Wait, what? You're not? Nope, I'm going to say maybe. A maybe? I'll take a maybe. We finally got a maybe. Finally got a maybe. Finally got a maybe. Do, 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 do. I'm so happy. So am I. Wait a minute. What makes the maybe turn into a yes, Mom? Yeah, Mom. What makes the maybe turn into a yes? Can I dance on the counter? Molly, get down. Yeah, Molly, before she changes her mind. Well... I know you guys have that big math test coming up, and I was thinking that if you both could pass it, then I'll get you each a new iPhone. Wow. Really? That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. New iPhone, here I come. Oh, wait, I'm going to definitely go study right now and for the rest of the night, so basically I can get a new iPhone. Good luck, Molly. Good luck is right. Mom, do we have to make that why I get the iPhone? I'll even vacuum the floor. Just... I'm not that great at math, which should be an encouragement to you, Molly, to study. And the test is tomorrow, so I'd get going. Yeah, okay. 
But first I want to watch some TV because I haven't watched any yet today and I love watching TV. But I won't watch it for that long. Just enough time to let my brain relax a little bit. A few hours later. OMG, that was a great episode. That made me think that I need to play that new survival game on Roblox. I haven't played it yet and I definitely want to try it out. This is going to be awesome. Two hours later. What? Why didn't I win? Oh, I'm terrible at this game. I need more practice. Um, uh, Molly, just a friendly reminder, but it's been three hours since I made you the iPhone offer. Huh, what? Oh, um, yeah, Mom, I just, I had to win this Roblox game. I mean, I am a famous YouTuber and all. That's lovely, Molly, but if you want the iPhone, I suggest that you study for your math test or else you're going to fail and then no new iPhone. I mean, how will you FaceTime Brookie? Um, yeah, Mom, you have a point. I'm actually going to study. Really? Something I said actually got through to you and you're going to study? Oh, parenting win! Don't get too excited, Mom. I'm definitely the problem child still. Well, I'll take this one as a small win. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here, Molly? I'm, um, studying. Molly, it's 9... 30 at night. It's a little late for studying, don't you think? Um, no, not at all. I'm just getting started. I'm gonna pull an all-nighter and basically do amazing on this test. Um, okay, Molly, if you say so. Try not to be too loud, though. I need my rest. It's a big day tomorrow. I'm gonna pass a test and get an iPhone. And so am I, Daisy. Well, if you had studied a bit more and... I don't need to hear that, Daisy. <sighs> One, two. What are you doing? Working out! A fit body goes along with having the healthiest mind. Okay, if you say so. I'll just be over here in the corner studying, studying, and studying some more. Oh! This math is so hard! Molly! You've literally been working on it for five minutes and you're already crying? Yes! Oh, it's so difficult! Molly, wipe your tears and keep your eye on the prize. That iPhone will be yours before you know it. Thanks, Daisy. I needed that motivation. Oh my gosh. It's 3 a.m. I've been up for hours and hours and hours studying. Ugh. Oh, I have to sleep. Must sleep. <coughs> oh boy, today's the day I get an iPhone. Molly. Molly. Well, she snoozes, she loses. Okay, well... Ah, do a little few workout I set up just to wake up my brain, have some breakfast, and head out the door. Molly, you gonna wake up? Molly! <coughs> well, don't say I didn't try to help you. <coughs> what was that? Wake up, Molly. Wake up! Does that say 9 a.m.? Ah! I'm gonna miss the school bus! Well, good thing I slept in my clothes last night. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Ah, we just ran into the door. Holy guacamole! I'm gonna be late! Well, well, well. Look who decided to get out of bed. Seems to me you failed the test. No, Mom, I haven't! Just get me to the end of the day! I'll show you! I'll show them all! I'll just run to school. Yeah! Oh, wait, no, the school bus waited for me. Oh, this is such good news! <laughs> it's not so bad after all, I guess. Thank you for waiting for me, school! Driver. Daisy, why are you wearing your lab coat from Halloween? Because, Molly, I'm going to be a famous scientist one day, and this coat just, I think it's lucky. It's a Halloween costume. Molly, shh. You just be grateful that you're not late for math and quit worrying about what I'm wearing for this test. It brings me luck. Oh, wow. Actually, we're earlier than everyone else. I thought we were going to be so late. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we're just going to wait for the rest of class to get here, and uh, then we can start our test, okay? Okay, Mr. Jared, no problem. I studied so hard last night. Ugh, I hardly got any sleep. She could have started studying three hours before and went to bed on time. Daisy, Ugh, sisters are exhausting. Okay, class, eyes on your own paper. You have exactly 15 minutes to finish this test. Whoa, hush. 15 minutes. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, I think I'm doing it right, I hope. Molly, quiet, please. Sorry, I kind of talked to myself out loud. No, I've, I've got this down. I'm sure of it. Okay, I'm done. 
Well, Molly, that was the fastest you've ever completed a test. Good job. So, Molly, how do you think you did on your math test? I don't know. I thought I was doing really good, but now that the test is over, I feel like maybe I made mistakes. Did you study? You probably didn't, right? No, I stayed up really late till like 3 o'clock in the morning studying. Oh, my gosh, Molly. How are you even standing right now? I don't know. I'm just tired and I'm worried. Well, turn that frown upside down because today is pizza day. Wow. My stomach's kind of upset. I don't think I'm going to eat pizza. What? But you love pizza day. I'm too nervous about this test. Why is this test in particular so worrisome to you, Molly? Because my mom said that if we pass the test, my sister and I could get iPhones. Whoa, are you serious? Wow, that's like an amazing prize for, for doing really well on your test. No wonder you're nervous. Yeah, and even lunch lady Marge can't even change that. Even with her most delicious pizza. Molly, I think I did amazing. I'm gonna get an iPhone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm getting an iPhone, but I'm just a little nervous because, I don't know, math is hard for me. Molly, are you sure that you don't want a piece of pizza? No, I can't eat anything right now. My stomach's too upset. Too worried I, pa I passed that test. Um, Daisy, what are you doing? I'm writing down all the accessories I'm going to get with my new iPhone. Huh, I'm just wondering if I'm going to get the iPhone. Molly, you studied half the night. I'm sure you did really well on the test. Don't worry. Thanks, Brookie. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Well, lunch is over. Time to find out the test results. I'm excited and nervous, but I did finish the test really quickly, so I think I did pretty good. I hope have to get at least a 70 on it to pass and get my new iPhone. Well, boys and girls, I'm pretty pleased with the test results, but I have a few of you that failed. So, I hope you can study harder next time. Molly, here's your test. Great job, Daisy. A 92. I'm gonna get an iPhone! Molly, how'd you do? A 68. Two points away from my iPhone? Excuse me, Mr. Jared, I think this must be a mistake. No, Molly, you failed fair and square. Oh, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to get an iPhone and I'm gonna like it. Oh man, maybe mom will just look over those two points and say, well, it's not that big a deal. Hey girls, ugh, the vacuum got clogged again. Ugh. Mom, I'm so excited! You are? Wait, did you get your test results today? Yeah, and I passed, Mom, so I get an iPhone. Do -de -do 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 -do. How about you, Molly? How'd you do? Um, I did okay. Yeah, fine, I guess, but don't worry. I, I, I don't need to show you my test. Molly, show me the test, please. She failed! Daisy! Sorry, but it's the truth, Molly. But mom, it's only two points. I got a 68. Molly, the requirement was you passed a 70. But mom. Sorry, Molly. I made the rules. No iPhone. Oh, that's not fair. Daisy gets everything. I worked so hard. That's not fair. Oh. The next melding. This iPhone has so many features. I can't even believe it. It's amazing, Molly. Uh-huh. You should see the photos that this thing takes. Uh-huh. Molly, it is so cool. Uh-huh. Could you be quiet about the iPhone? It's dumb anyway. Who wants that phone? Not me. I don't want an iPhone. I wouldn't want an iPhone if it was the last phone at the AT&T store. You're just jealous. Whatever. I don't, I don't I don't even need that phone. It's dumb and I don't I don't need a phone. Who needs a phone? I could just call my friends on the on the I don't know. I could just walk to their house. Yeah, that's it. Get good exercise. Yeah. And then I don't have to waste my time studying for math tests that I fail anyway. Well, I have to get going to dance class. But I'm going to leave my phone here to let it charge. Because, you know, I was too excited when I got it. I didn't let it charge all the way. Oh, have you shaved? Have you left yet? Molly, you're being so rude. I get that you're jealous and stuff, but maybe next time study a little bit longer. Don't just like cram at the last minute. I'm sure you could figure it out how to get an iPhone. You're really smart when you want something, Molly. Well, I, I didn't think of it that way. Is that her iPhone over there? <laughs> when I want something, I can just take it. But that wouldn't be really nice because even though 
I'm like super annoyed that my sister got an iPhone. If I take hers, then I'm just gonna like get caught, and get in trouble, and that doesn't really solve the problem that I want a new iPhone for myself. How can I solve this? Hmm. Maybe I won't steal her phone. Maybe I'll go talk to Mr. Jared. Mr. Jared! Mr. Jared, you're still here! Molly, what are you doing here? I didn't give you detention for a change. No, I, I need to talk to you. Um, whenever you're done writing that gibberish on the board. Oh, I can't figure out this math equation. My brain just isn't what it used to be. What is it, Molly? Well, you see, I've, I stayed up till 3 a.m. studying for your math test. Seriously? You've never done that before. I know, and I still got a 68, and I I guess I'm just asking for help, because I, I thought I knew what I was doing on problems 3, 7, 6, and number 4. Okay, I said those out of order, but you know what I'm saying! And and I, I don't know what I did wrong. Could you help me? Of course, Molly. This is a great step in the right direction for you. Before you just even care about studying or what grade you got, what's the motivation? Well... First, it was that I wanted this new iPhone that my mom said I could have if I got a good grade, but now I just feel like an ignoramus because I thought I was studying everything right, but I guess I was doing everything wrong. Okay, go take a seat at the desk and I'll explain what you did wrong in those, pro in those problems. Okay, so with number four, you see, if you had just divided the number instead of multiplied it, you would have gotten the correct answer. Oh! All right, so go ahead and take out your pencil and correct what you did wrong on the test there. Okay, um, and now number six makes sense to me too because I just had that one part of the equation um, and I was doing it wrong. Exactly, Molly. See, you're not an ignoramus and because you showed so much effort, I'm going to give you a passing grade. What? Are you serious? No, I can't give you like a hundred or anything because you still got them wrong. But I think an 80% is very fair in this case. You showed a lot of effort, Molly. I'm proud of you. Oh my gosh. Could you put that in writing, Mr. Jared? Please just put that in writing right here. Um, sure, Molly. N no problem. I can't wait to show my mom. She's going to be so proud of me. I bet she will, Molly. I'm very proud of you too. Mom! 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 Molly, where have you been? Oh my gosh, was starting to get worried. I knew you were a little angry and jealous of your sister getting an iPhone. Mom, I think I might have actually did the right thing. Wait, what? I went back to school. Wait, you went back to school? Did you have detention? No, I, well, went back and asked for extra help on the problems I didn't understand that I failed on my test. You did? Are you serious, Molly? Totally! At first it was just because I was angry that I didn't get my iPhone, but then I just feel like an ignoramus that I didn't know the answers. Oh, Molly, you're not an ignoramus. Everybody has trouble in some subjects and it's okay to ask for extra help. Well, when I got it all figured out what I had done wrong, it was a simple mistake. Mr. Jared said that I showed so much progress and so much effort that he changed my grade. Wait, what? Yeah, he even wrote you a little note here so that you knew it was true. Oh my gosh, Molly. He changed your grade from a 68 to an 80. Do you know what that means? That I'm not as dumb as I thought I was in math? Molly, you've never been dumb. You're very smart when you apply yourself and study and work hard. But since you did all of the right things and got an 80%, you get an iPhone. Are you serious? Oh my God, I think my face is gonna stick this way. I'm so happy and excited right now. I'm getting an iPhone, I'm getting an iPhone, and I didn't even have to steal it from Daisy. What, what are you talking about? Nothing, can we go right now to AT&T and get it? Sure we can, Molly. I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of me too. Goodbye to Bob. Bye, Mom. Can't believe you're making us go to school. Again! Ugh, when's the bus gonna get here? It's kinda cold out and it's still dark. That's because we catch the bus so early in the morning, Molly. Why are you so grumpy? Cause I have to go to school. I don't want to! Well, here's the school bus, Molly. No excuse not to get to school. Ugh! Hey, Brookie. Hey, Molly. Whoa, you look super grumpy. Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? 
No, she just doesn't want to be at school. She just wanted to stay home and play Roblox all day. Ooh. Yeah, I did. And, and look where I am. School. All good. How many days of my life am I going to be at school? Pretty much all of them, Molly. <laughs> Ugh. Hmm, this Starbucks is delicious. What? I didn't even have time to finish my Starbucks. Ugh, school is so annoying. Wow, you actually look grumpier than I do, Molly. And I'm pretty grumpy because I didn't get to finish my Starbucks and the teacher won't let us drink it in class. Molly, you love art class. Yeah, I guess I can turn my frown upside down. So, Daisy's not taking art class anymore? Nah, she's doing the gifted program. It's a science thing that she does every first period, every Monday and Wednesday. Wow, she's so smart. Whatever. I think she's a total nerd. <gasps> well, yeah, maybe she is, but being a nerd's not a bad thing. She's going to have, like, the most amazing job someday. And and you won't, Sarah, so take that. Ha, ha, ha. Whoa, Molly, you definitely did wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, well, I just don't want to deal with bullying today. Okay, Sarah? Whatever. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. A. Oh, you look so cute today. Thank you. I just tried to look as artsy as possible since I am, well, the art teacher. <laughs> Mrs. A, you're so cool. Whatever. I'm getting on Snapchat. Sarah, unless you're making art with Snapchat, then I suggest you put down your phone, silly. Mrs. A, you are so nice. Okay. I don't know what my masterpiece is going to be today, but I'm thinking that I might um actually paint a picture of my dog, Gracie, because it's almost her birthday, and she's just the most adorable dog. <coughs> oh, yeah, I've seen pictures of her on your Snapchat. She is super cute. That would be a great painting to make, Molly. Let me know if you need any help with that. You know where the supplies are. Sure do. <laughs> Sarah, what are you drawing? I'm drawing you not being next to me and me being completely alone in this classroom. Wait, what? Meaning you're annoying. Leave me alone. Oh, okay, fine. Cheapers, she's still in full-on bully mode. I'm looking for motivation in on my phone because, I don't know, I've been on Pinterest looking at different things I want to do for my art project, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't worry, Brookie. You'll figure out something. Wow, Molly. That's amazing work. You should be very proud of yourself. <laughs> um, but you are wearing a lot of the paint. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oopsie, I'm a really messy painter. May I have your attention? May I have your attention? Will Mrs. A please report to the principal's office? Miss A, please report to the principal's office. Uh-oh, Miss A, you're in trouble. Getting called to the principal's office. Um, I'm a teacher. I can't get detention. Wait, what? That's not fair. What if you were bad and didn't do your homework? <laughs> Molly, you're being so ridiculous right now. She ha doesn't have homework. Actually, I have a lot of homework. I grade papers and do lots of schoolwork at home. Really? Remind me never to become a teacher. That sounds like a lot of hard work. Be right back, class. Keep working on your art. Oh, hi, Principal Bippity Boop Boop. <laughs> what? No, 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 that's not how you say it. It's, oh, never mind. Call me Mr. B. Sorry, your name is really hard to pronounce. And is it me or you just keep getting shorter? What? I'm not short. Why you call me short? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to point that out. <laughs> Don't give me detention. Can you give me detention? I'm a grown-up, you know. No, I'm not going to give you detention. But we need to have a serious talk, Mrs. A. Um. Okay, but it's hard to take you serious when you're, well, that short and not wearing shoes. <laughs> you look like you're in daycare. Oh, sorry, but where are your shoes? What? Oh, I forgot my shoes at home again. Oh. It's okay, Principal B. -b, 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 -b. <laughs> Call me Mr. B. You obviously can't pronounce my name. Sorry, Principal B. Um, What is it I can do for you? The serious talk is this. You're not serious enough. What? I'm the art teacher. I'm supposed to have fun with the kids. Help them inspire creativity and... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And also a lot of... Blah! Whoa. Mr. B, Principal B, whatever you want to be called. Uh, you seem very grumpy today. Do you need like a little snack? Maybe you're just hungry. What? No, I ate a good breakfast. 
I just forgot my shoes. But anyway, I I'm fine. I just don't like how, well, nice you are. Um, okay. If you can't be more strict, you're fired. But I just bought a house and the bills are going to be due. You can't fire me. It's the only school in town. I won't have a job. I'll be homeless. Then I suggest getting stricter. Uh -oh. Now get out of my office. Okay. Well, good talk, Principal Bippity Boop 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 You can call me Principal B! Ugh! Uh, Ricky, I had a little bit of an accident with the paint. Molly, you, you look like you hit your head and got hurt or something. Is that blood or paint? Um, it's definitely paint. Uh, I just really get into my artwork and, um, well, uh, I might be the messiest painter in the world. Yeah. I'm thinking so, Molly. You might need to go to the bathroom and wash your face. Hey! Look, Mrs. A! Had a little bit of a painting accident. What? You're gonna make a mess of everything. Wait, what? I thought you thought it was cute and funny that I was such a messy painter. Canvas! What are you even doing? Just wasting time this entire time? No, I'm just not very good at art. And I just figured out what exactly I wanted to do. And I'm sorry. Ugh. You two are going to definitely fail this class. You for being messy and you for being lazy. Uh -oh. Um, Brookie is not lazy. She wakes up every morning and goes for like a five mile run. She's just not that good at art. No offense, Brookie. None taken, Molly. Well, I don't think. Mrs. A, can I wash the paint off my face? What? Ah! Looks like I'm not the only one that got paint on my face. What happened to you? What are you talking about? I like this look. Yeah. Um, okay, as long as you like it. Uh, can I go to the bathroom? I need to wash this paint off. It's getting into my eyes. Oh, it's stinging. Yes, you have exactly 30 seconds. If you're late, detention. Whoa, um, clock starts now. Okay, okay. Oh, God, oh, God. I got 30 seconds or I'm going to get detention. What happened to Mrs. A? She used to be so cool. Perfect. Totally within the 30 seconds. Uh-oh. Now I have to go potty. Okay, I just gotta be quick about it. That's all. As long as I'm super fast and back in like, um, 10 seconds, everything should be fine. Yeah, fine. La 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 la, just trying to hurry. Why was the toilet lid open? Oh God, this toilet must be broken. All right, I gotta go use the other one. Na 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 na. Oh God, I have like five seconds left. Ruh row. Ugh, why'd I eat so many pancakes for breakfast? I mean, they were delicious, but. <laughs> okay, gotta get back to class. Uh-oh, the door won't open. Ah, let me out of the bathroom! Okay, maybe I can jump over the top. Wait, don't panic, Molly. Um, you ever think when you're in the bathroom at school, if the door, like, locked and you couldn't get out, could you squeeze under the door or not? I'm about to find out. Uh, uh, oh, my God, I'm getting stuck. Oh! oh, my God, I can't fit underneath there. I'm too fat to get under the door. Okay, maybe this way. Um, I'm stuck inside the bathroom! <laughs> OMG! I'm too fat to get under the door. Um, I don't know what to do right now. Maybe scream for the janitor? Come on, you stupid lock! Open! Oh, wait, the door just opened. Yay! <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm a little bit late, but she's gotta understand. I got trapped in the bathroom! There you are. Where have you been? Well, I washed the paint off my face, as you can see. Um, but then I had to go to the bathroom because I ate a lot of pancakes this morning. I don't like your excuses. This is A. You used to be so cool. What happened to you? What happened is that I'm strict. Um, yeah, I noticed. Um, anyway, I got locked in the bathroom. I tried to crawl underneath the stall, but I was a little too chubby from all the pancakes I ate and I couldn't fit. And then I opened the door and I came back as soon as I opened it. A likely story. So you couldn't open the door and then magically it opened? Detention. But you just said I did a really great job on my painting. I really did get stuck in the bathroom. I don't think I deserve detention. I, I did good in class and I had to go to the bathroom. I'm sorry. I don't care what you want or what you say. Detention. Aww. Uh, Mrs. A, no offense or anything, but I don't think you're like you are normally and I just want to stick up for my best friend because well she worked really hard on her painting and she's been doing really good in your class I don't think she de deserves detention well thank you Miss Nosy now you can sit in detention with her <gasps> wait what yep see you both after class T 
today at 3 p.m. Thanks, Brookie. Sorry you got detention, too. Hey, guys. It's me, Molly, and my BFF, Brookie. Hey, guys. And we're making this Snapchat because something is going on with our art teacher, Mrs. A. She's normally so sweet and so nice and just really understanding. And today, she's, like, weird and strict. Yeah, her face has even changed. Yeah, she's just, like, dressing different. Her face looks different. It's like she's not even the same person. She's just, like, being so mean. Anyway, because I took an extra 30 seconds in the bathroom, she gave me detention, and I don't, I don't know. I think Brookie and I should try to escape. What? Are you serious, Molly? Totally. Guys, we're making this video so you guys have evidence that our amazing teacher has turned weird and strict. Well, Molly, come on. We better get to detention. Wait, it's in math class? Are you serious? Ugh, this just figures. Welcome to detention. No talking, no smiling, no breathing. Um, excuse me, breathing is kind of a necessity. Do it quietly. Well, I didn't plan on breathing like this. <gasps> <gasps> Molly, don't make me laugh. You're going to give me extra detention. Did you notice you two are the only ones in here? That's because you're losers. Bruh. Whoa, maybe you need detention. You're being really rude. Really? Maybe you need in-school suspension. Really? Well... <gasps> <gasps> Molly, stop breathing so loud. I'm not sorry. Well, well, well. Seems I've met my match for being weird. Yeah, I am weird and proud of it. But you didn't meet your match for being strict. That's just you, crazy teacher. Now, come on. I want to tell the principal on you. I cannot believe a student is taking me to the principal. Well, weird strict teacher, I think you deserve it. Oh, what's that, your stomach? Are you not eating lunch? Is that why you're so grumpy? Oh, wait, is that Principal Bippity Boop Boop? Principal Bippity Boop Boop! What happened to you? Wait, is he just taking a nap or is he dead? What happened? What do you mean, what happened? You were taking a nap behind your desk, obviously. I mean, don't deny it. I do that stuff, too, at school. But, I mean, come on. You're the principal, man. You're supposed to set a good example. No, I wasn't taking a nap. A likely excuse. No, I really wasn't. Some guy in, in a cloak came in with... Uh, had a, he had a black hood over his head, and he, he said that he was taking my job as principal. Then he conked me over the head with a hammer. What? Wait a minute. I, I saw this principal before, and he told me I had to be weird or strict, and I or I'd lose my job. Sorry, I don't mean to keep sitting at your desk like I'm the principal, but this game, it always makes you sit down. Why? Why? Well, maybe it wants you to be the principal. Apparently, I'm not very good at it. Well, you were taking a nap behind your desk. I was not. I got conked on the head by a hammer. Whoa. I can't believe that happened to you, Principal Bibbidi Boop Boop Boop. Oh, just call me Principal B. <laughs> Look at me. It looks like I'm taking notes. Silly game. <laughs> I can't believe this. I I I've been weird and strict with my students because that evil principal said that if I wasn't, I'd lose my job. Wait, what? You're not really weird and evil? And strict? No. I never wanted to be that. I just felt like if I wasn't, I'd be homeless with no job. This is terrible. Someone is out there turning teachers into weird, strict teachers. Yeah, we need to get to the bottom of this. But, um, Mrs. A, you can go back to being yourself now. I hope that I can. I mean, I feel sort of stuck as weird and strict. Snap out of it, lady! I don't like you weird and strict. It's, well, weird and strict, and it really stinks. <laughs> oh, I'm back to myself. Mrs. A! Oh, thank goodness. Time to make a Snapchat. Wait, what? That's what you really want to do right now? Yeah, I have to tell everybody. Guys, everybody that goes to school with me, this is the real principal. Princess, principal, principal, bippity boppity boobity doot. Yeah, or something like that. Or maybe it's toot toot. Toot toot, yeah, principal toot toot, that's it. What, no, I'm not a toot toot. I don't toot toot. 
Uh huh, sure you don't. Especially after you have those bean burritos they give us at lunch. Uh huh. Anyway, guys, he was knocked out by an evil, weird, strict principal guy. And then he made my teacher, Mrs. A, be weird and strict too. But she's back to normal. And so isn't Principal Toot Toot. It's not Principal Toot Toot! Uh huh, sure it isn't. Anyway, be careful, guys. This weird, strict principal might be coming to your school. Watch out for him. Seriously. Watch out. All right, I sent it to everybody in the school, and I told everybody on YouTube. Well, Molly, that's good. I'm glad to be back to being myself. Me too. You as weird and strict was terrible. Do I still have detention? Nah. You can go home. And great job on your artwork today. Thanks, Mrs. A. Whew. Thank goodness I got rid of the weird, strict teacher. Good thing she didn't catch me. Wait, what? I'm confused right now. I thought you were back to nice, Mrs. A. No, I like being weird, strict teacher. <laughs> and now I'm going to go to the next school, get a teaching job in another town, and be weird and strict there, too. <laughs> Wait, what? No, you can't. I'll call the next school. I'll, I'll tell them. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> They'll never know what happened to you. <laughs>
This test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Huh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test! I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. The, the, uh, the class is over, so, uh, yeah, I just need to go get a cup of coffee. It's Monday and my brain's not awake yet. Okay, no problem, Mr. Jared. Phew! I'm glad that math test is over. Quiz, whatever. Whatever it was! It was horrible and I don't ever want to take it ever again. <laughs> Time to get out my books from English class. What's this? It's a letter. I wonder who it could be from. Dear Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean? My BFF is Sarah? At least she's honest? Oh my gosh. Rookie... Brittany doesn't want to be my friend anymore! <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go away, Daisy! Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but if you need me to be, I could be your friend, too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I, I'm having the worst life ever! Oh, there, there, Molly. I'll give you a hug and then make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel... Okay, it made me feel a little bit better, but... But I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore! What?! Brookie doesn't like you anymore. This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in the, in my locker. What? Let me see that. It says, Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must sort of be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Brookie loves you. You're her best friend. And you've been that way since preschool. Since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over. Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you, can't, you can't knock having pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset. Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh my god! Brookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true. Oh, look. It's a loser, Brookie. <sighs> Don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh, oh, <laughs> everyone hates me, including my best friend. <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me. That's all anybody thinks I'm worth, trash. <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers, and now she doesn't even like me anymore. <laughs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Brookie. I'm... I'm not even going to look at it. I mean, why should I? She's she's not even my friend anymore. I mean, she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend. So why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something? I don't need to look at those. I, I don't need to look at them. We're not friends anymore. Well, I guess I should go home and do all that homework. Ugh. I just wish my day would get better. I lost my best friend. Rookie? What are you doing here? Hi, Molly. Um, uh, I brought a pizza. Why'd you bring a pizza? I thought you don't want to be my friend anymore. Wait, what? I never said I didn't want to be your friend anymore. Really? What's this letter say then? Huh? Huh? What? I didn't write that letter. Wait a minute. Did Sarah write this letter? Maybe. Why you been hanging out with her then? You know she's a bully and I told you yesterday she was so mean to me. I was even crying on the phone and everything. I just thought if I was friends with Sarah, maybe, maybe since she doesn't have any friends, it would change her heart to good. She wouldn't be a bully anymore. Really? That's what you were trying to do? Thought if I won her over and was friendly to her, she wouldn't be mean to my BFF anymore. I hate to see you in pain, Molly. You were doing this all for me? <laughs> it really didn't seem that way. Sorry, Molly. I realized that the only person that can change Sarah is, well, Sarah. And it seems like she doesn't really want to change, so... Ah, 
I told her we can't be friends until she starts being nice again. Wow. That's pretty amazing, Brookie. Thanks for sticking up for me like that. Is it okay if I come in? This pizza is getting really hot on my fingers. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Come on in. And uh, bring the pizza. I'm starving. <laughs> holy guacamole. I mean, holy pizza. This is delicious. I got it just for you, Molly, with my allowance. Oh, thanks, Brookie. You didn't have to do that. Sure I did. Ooh, something smells delicious. Glad to see you guys made up. So why didn't you respond to my text, Molly? I didn't even read it. Well, maybe you should read it now. Seems like you guys are BFFs again. Um, okay. Molly, I love you. You're my best friend. I'm sorry if you're hurting. Please talk to me so that I can help make it better. Oh, Crookie. It was seriously nice of you. Mm. But the nicest thing you've ever done is bring me pizza. <laughs> oh, Molly. I'll be your BFF until I'm old and gray. And I'll be yours, Brookie. And I'll be yours. Holy guacamole! Daisy, come here! Look at this! What, Molly? I'm reading for my class. You're just looking at a picture of a wet food. Okay, yeah, but I was just checking my email. And, and I, got a, I got a message from our teacher. Oh, great. You have detention. Again. No, no, no. This is really exciting. Um, <laughs> we're having pizza for lunch tomorrow. No, even more exciting than that. <gasps> I don't know anything more exciting than pizza when it comes to you, Molly. We are going on a school field trip. Woohoo! <laughs> going to the water park. Do, 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 do. Going to the water park. Do, 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 do. Oh, Molly, that's amazing. I can't wait. I can't wait. Wait a minute. Molly, stop dancing. Molly! Sorry, I got a little too excited doing the chicken dance. And I had a taco for lunch. We can't go to the water park, Molly. What? Why not? Because... That's going to cost a lot of money, and we don't have that kind of money. But, 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 it's the water park. Maybe it's free. Molly, you know the water park isn't free. And when it comes to school trips, we have to pay to go ourselves. Remember when we went to the Philadelphia Zoo? Oh, I remember it all right. I remember it perfectly. Stay away from me, Psycho Bunny. Stay back. We don't have any money to go. Ow. Oh, you're right. The best day ever just turned into the worst day ever. I feel like I'm going to cry. I need to go call Brookie. She'll listen to me cry. Uh, Molly, maybe she's busy. She's never too busy to talk to her best friend. Not ever. Hey, Brookie, it's me. Can I call you? Hey, Molly, sure. You never want to call me on the phone. You just want to text. Is everything okay? I'm just going to call you. Hi, what's up, Molly? Are you okay? Not really. Did you get the email from our teacher? Yeah, I totally did. A, a school trip to, to the water park? That sounds amazing. <coughs> yeah, except for if you're me and Daisy. We don't have any money to go. No, I don't really either. I only have like $5 saved. Really? That's more than I have. I don't know what to do. Look, Molly, you know I sort of have an entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> and, well, I was just thinking of a way that we could earn the money to go to the water park. All three of us. Seriously? You have an idea? Of course I do. I was thinking that we could start a lemonade stand. Hot dog, Brookie! Hot dogs? No, Molly, I don't think a hot dog stand will do as well in Brookhaven. I think lemonade is where it's at. <laughs> No, 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 I meant like hot dog. That's a good idea. You have all the most brilliant ideas. Well, unless it's about science, then Daisy's got you beat. Or if it's about, well, detention, you're pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah, totally. 
So, uh, you want to help us build the lemonade stand? Of course I do! According to my calculations, if we charge 25 cents per cup of lemonade, it will probably take us about two days to earn enough for all three of us to go to the water park. Unless we're really lucky because I make the world's best lemonade, and if people know about my lemonade, they're going to come here for sure. There, the 25 cent sign is all up. And I nailed it down just so it doesn't blow over. Wow, this looks amazing, guys. I can't believe we built this. The sign looks so professional. You have the best ideas ever. Time to test some of the lemonade. Uh, Molly, I don't think so. Woo, it's really, really tart. We need more sugar. We need more sugar. Oh. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? Try to look professional. I'm even wearing a lemonade stand uniform. I can't even move. That was so sour. Needs more sugar. Man, all of this building our lemonade stand it was hard work. I'm starving. Me too, Molly. What do you have to eat in your house? I don't know, but I'm thinking DoorDash. Molly, we're spending our money before it's even made. Hey, you gotta spend some to earn some. And me having an empty stomach doesn't make me very friendly to customers. Okay, Molly, you have a point. What should we order? How about a pizza? Because those aren't very expensive. And there's a lot of slices, so we can get a lot for a little. You're so smart, Molly. Thank you. One large pizza, extra cheese. Anybody want pepperoni? No, no pepperoni. No, no pepperoni, Molly. Just extra cheese. All right. It says it'll be here in two minutes. Wow. <gasps> fast delivery. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, where's the pizza? Molly, it's been like one minute. There she is. Hi there. I'm here from DoorDash. This is like the hundredth order I've done today. Not a single person has given me a tip. Oh, cool. Um, well... I could give you a tip, except for I don't have any money. I'm sorry. That's why I started this lemonade stand. Again, I'm really sorry. It's okay. I'm used to it. Here's your order. Wait. What? Wait, get back here! These... This, this is not pizza! These are sauerkraut sandwiches! Ew, that smells like somebody's yeah. dirty foot. Yeah. And, 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 and I don't like smelling dirty feet sandwiches! Oh, well, Molly, just just get a refund and try again. Fine. It's not like I was starving or anything. One large pizza with extra cheese. <sighs> Quit sending me sauerkraut sandwiches. Here she comes again. Uh, hopefully this time she didn't send us anything gross. Well, Molly, I would have eaten a sauerkraut sandwich. It's kind of good for you. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, um... Here's your order. Didn't you just order something? Yeah, and you brought us sauerkraut sandwiches. It was the wrong order. No wonder you're not getting any tips. Sorry, I'm doing my best. Here's your order. Have a nice day. Uh-huh. Sure. It, this is KFC. Ooh, I love KFC. I know, but we ordered a pizza. My tummy was all hungry for one. Molly, remember in the freezer in the basement, Mom was saving that extra frozen pizza? We could always eat that. Yeah, good idea. Mm, this frozen pizza is actually pretty good. Yeah, mine's still a little frozen in the middle, but I don't mind. Mm. <laughs> it's like ice pizza. Very interesting. Well, now that we're done eating our pizza, I guess we're just going to have to wait for our first customer. They should be here any minute. Yep. Any minute now. Any minute. Any minute, they're going to just drive right down our street. Or walk, or ride their bike, or push their baby in a baby carriage. Yeah. And they're going to just have to pay us 25 cents for our lemonade. Where are all the customers? How are we ever going to go to our water park trip if, 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 if nobody comes? Don't worry, they'll show up, Molly. I'm sure of it. Still not a single customer! Ugh, this is not gonna work! We're not gonna even get one customer! <laughs> Molly, you have to be patient. Oh look! A customer's coming! I see them! They're, 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 they're way on their way! Look at that! 
There's a Bentley coming up. They're going to buy us like a hundred cups of lemonade. We're going to close and go on our trip. Oh, wait. No, that's Brookie's mom. Hey, girls. Brookie, it's time for you to go home. You have to do extra studying. <gasps> but, but, Mom, I, 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 I'm doing my lemonade stand. Come on, Brookie. We had an agreement. You need to work on more schoolwork. Oh, bummer. Well, see you later, Brookie. Bye, guys. It was cool hanging out with you. Bye, Brookie. Mom, I can't believe you made me come home early. Look, Brookie, you are not doing good in math class. You need to spend more time studying, or you might have to repeat the grade, or, or do summer school, or worse, both. But, Mom, it's not fair. It's so nice outside, and my friends are running a lemonade stand, and you're making me stay here and study. Well, your teacher said you got a terrible grade on your math test, so you need to go to your room and study. I've got some things to do around the house. <laughs> Fine, Mom. Brookie, I know you don't want this, but I'm doing it for your own good because I care about you. Uh hi, -huh, sure, Mom. Don't want to be doing extra math homework. This is so lame. I, I need to do something. Maybe the teacher will let me work for extra credit. Or maybe the teacher would just think I'm a nice person and give me a better grade. She loves chocolates and flowers. I could go to the store and buy her those. And I bet she'd change my grade. I just have to sneak out so that my mom doesn't see me. La, 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 la. Ugh, there's so many dishes here. How does a family that's so small make so many dishes? Ugh, I hate doing the dishes. Well, I'm a grown-up, so I guess I have to. Look, Molly, I think we finally have a customer. Uh, Daisy? That lady is riding a horse. Well, maybe her horse is thirsty. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Well, howdy there. I was wondering if I could have one of your lemonades for me and one for my horse. <laughs> Seriously? You want two lemonades? I sure do. It's pretty hot out here today. My horse gets really thirsty. You betcha. Two lemonades coming right up. Better make it three. Those are smaller glasses, and my horse is so thirsty. Well, it's sort of an interesting customer, but it's a customer. Oh, wait, Molly, give her three lemonades. Um, this is our very best lemonade. It's super delicious. Here you go, horsey. <laughs> Molly, are you gonna freak out like you did when that psycho rabbit teased you? No, I love horses. They're amazing. Lemonade, get your delicious, freshly squeezed, extra sugarly lemonade. <gasps> Hi. Extra sugary lemonade, you say? Oh, I could use a boost. I'm trying to get some extra homework done tonight. Well, I've got the thing just for you then. 25 cents, please. Sure thing. Ooh, this looks delicious. Mm. Lemonade, get your fresh, hot lemonade. Molly, lemonade's not hot. And if it is, add more ice cubes. Hey, what's up? Whoa, he's sort of cute. <laughs> uh, Daisy, um, thinks you're cute. Molly! <laughs> Oopsie, I don't think she wanted you to know that. Um, she's just kidding, right, Molly? Uh, so could I have, like, a couple glasses of lemonade? I gotta go work out at the gym, and I'm really thirsty. Okay, sure, here you go. Whoa, thanks, and, uh, you're cute, too. Oh, me? Uh, no, the pigtails. Oh, <laughs> Ridiculous, Daisy. <sighs> but at least we've made tons of money. I think we've actually made enough so that we can uh, go on our water park field trip. Only thing is, is I drank some lemonade too and I have to go potty. So don't I really bad. Well, I'm sure the lemonade stand will be okay for a minute while we both go. I'll race ya! Molly! Ay, ay, ay. Hurry, Molly, I gotta go really bad. I'll try to! <laughs> but no promises. <laughs> That frozen pizza was kind of cray-cray. Molly, hurry up. I've got to go, too. All right, all right. I'm coming. Did you stink it up there, Stinky McStinko? Um. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Molly. <laughs> it's a bathroom. You're supposed to stink it up. Last one to the lemonade stands. A rotten, stinky egg. Oh, wait. You already are that. Oh, very funny. Hey, 
Daisy, where'd you put the money? What do you mean, where'd I put the money? You probably took it up into the bathroom with you. Daisy, this isn't funny. There's like $50 missing from the 150. That's a whole portion of the money. Where is it? Honey, I'm serious. I don't have it. Well, you must have it because it's missing. I don't, Molly. I'm very responsible with money. You're the one that's not. Well, I didn't take the money. Oh, my God, Molly. Somebody stole some of our lemonade money. What? That, that, that means that, that the three of us best friends can't go to the water park field trip together. <gasps> oh, no. This is terrible. I know. How will we even tell Brookie this has happened? It's all our fault because we took a potty break and... No, Molly, it's not our fault. It's the thieves' fault. <laughs> Oh, no. Mrs. Griffin looks like she's in a great mood today. Uh-oh. Not. Mm, what are you doing here early? Class for another 20 minutes. Um, Mrs. Griffin, I brought your favorite. Aww. White roses. What? Why did you bring those? I also brought your favorite Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bar. That's nice. Why? It's not my birthday. Well, I just know that you're my fa you're your favorite. Those are your favorite, I mean. Sorry, I'm a little tongue-tied. But also, I'm hoping that I could be one of your favorite students and maybe you could change your mind about the bad grade you gave me on my math test because <gasps> I can't go to the water park if you give me a bad grade. Sorry, Brookie, but no can do. You got the grade, you earned the grade, you keep the grade. What? But I brought you flowers and chocolate! And they'll smell delicious, both of them. Wait, what? Are you going to eat the flowers? I mean, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm a math teacher, not an English teacher. Or a language teacher, or whatever. Okay, um, well, could I do extra credit for a better grade? Please. Please, I'm begging you. Okay, meet me after school. I'll let you do the extra credit, and then we'll talk about a better grade. Thank you, Mrs. Griffin. Thank you. I just can't believe it. This has been the worst day of my life. Well, Molly, it's just started. Maybe it'll get better. If it's anything like yesterday, I don't think so. Hey, guys. What? Molly, Daisy, what's wrong? <gasps> Someone stole some of our money from our lemonade stand. They are evil, they're a monster, they're a criminal, and as soon as I find out who it is, I'm sending them to jail forever. What? Molly, you're being ridiculous right now. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Oh, really? Is there ever a reasonable explanation for someone being a thief? I don't think so. And I'm going to pursue the law to a thousand degrees. Uh, Molly, I'm not really sure that's how you say that. I don't care. They're going to pay for this. They're going to pay. Because now the three of us can't go to the water park together. Molly, I think you're being rude. I mean, I'm sure they had a good reason to take that money. What? I don't even know what you're talking about, but, but can't you see my tears in my eyes? You're supposed to be my best friend. Uh-oh. Okay, class. You can argue on your own time. Get in your seats, please. Are you ready for your extra credit? Um, yeah, but why are you holding a mop? Because, wait a minute. <laughs> Did the janitor quit? Are you taking over his job part-time? No, you are. What? Why would you have me clean the school? Do you want to go on this water park trip and have your extra credit or not? Um, yeah, I do. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Count the classrooms as you go. It'll be very good, simple math for you to remember. Oh, hello. Are you selling Girl Scout cookies? Oh, why are you crying? Because, um, I have a lemonade stand with my sister and my best friend across the street and... And someone came and stole some of the money, and I was wondering, do you have a ring camera so I can review the footage and see who it was so I can turn them into the police? Absolutely. Um, let me just pull up my iPad. Okay, we can look at this together. Um, okay. Here we go. Let's take a look. Are you kidding me right now? It was Brookie who stole the money? Oh, M, G. Hey, Molly, 
Emily, what's up? I'm kind of busy right now. Did you come by the lemonade stand and steal the money? What? Well, I... I... Okay, I helped build the lemonade stand, Molly, and... And, well... Well, you were supposed to split the money with me. But you still came by and didn't say anything and stole it. Well, I, I was going to, but you seemed so angry that... You know what? Th 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 that's it! We're not friends anymore! You're in deep trouble. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I need the police. Stat. Uh, my lemonade stand has been robbed by my best friend, and I'd like to press charges. Uh oh! Whoa, harsh. You guys aren't gonna be BFFs after this. <laughs> she deserves this! She stole money! <laughs> wow. The janitor has a really hard job. Are you Brookie? Cookie? Uh oh! Uh, yeah, that's what my friends call me unofficially. You are under arrest. What? Is this about the lemonade stand money? Absolutely. A thief does the crime, a thief does the time. <gasps> but that was my money. I only took my portion of it. Sorry, but I have no choice. A thief is a thief is a thief. Every thief thinks the money is theirs, and it's not. I can't believe my best friend would do this to me. I, I, I'm never going to be your best friend ever again, Molly. Not ever. Uh-huh, that's what they all say. Oh, you have the right to remain silent. Yes, but I don't want to be. My best friend is so mean! Blah, 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 Molly! Well, that's all you could come up with as a comeback? Well, I... Yes! I'm too mad! My brain is... I don't know, I've been mopping all afternoon. It's probably the fumes from the Mr. Clean. I understand. Sometimes I have to clean clean the prince pre-stink bathroom after everybody stinks. Ew. Ew, gross. I don't want to be a cop if that's a part of my job. Oh, I can't believe this. All I did was want to go on the field trip. Oh. oh, now I lost my best friend and I'm in prison. Worst ending ever. <laughs> Great day at work, honey. I love you. I love you too. Have a great day with baby Kira. Yeah, she's been such a good girl lately. No temper tantrums or anything. Wow, great job, baby Kira. I get up an hour and watch TV. I get up and watch Honey, I made you a healthy breakfast. Oatmeal with apple slices. But honey, I'm a cop. I need to eat my donut. It's just a part of my job. Honey. <sighs> I gotta go, honey. I love you. Bye, baby Kira. Love you. He never listens to me about eating healthy. Mama, I want TV now. No, sweetie, not right now. We have to go to the grocery store. I'm buying good grocery store. I want to stay here. I, I, I want to play, watch TV. I'm buying right in the car. Sorry, baby Kara, but you do need to ride in the car because that's how we get to the grocery store. Uh-uh, I walk there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, not today, honey. That's a really... Wait, you're not allowed to leave without mama. Oh my gosh, I just got done saying to my husband that baby Kira has been temper tantrum free. But I just feel like today is going to be kind of crazy. Yeah, we can't walk there today because it's cold outside, sweetheart. So we're going to drive, okay? All right, let me just go get my purse. No, we're not skateboarding there either. Ay, 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 kids. Okay, baby Kira, I got my sweatshirt and my bag. Wait, wait, where is she? Baby Kira, this isn't funny. Baby Kira. Ugh, she wants to play hide and seek now? What? Maybe she's in going potty. No. Baby Kira, come out here this instant. Ah! Oh my god, she's on the railing. Baby Kira, get down before you get hurt, honey. I thought we I thought it was fun. No, not fun. Come on, go potty before we go so you don't have any accidents at the grocery store. I'm bike potty training. Potty training boy. Baby Kira, what are you doing? I want a snack. You just ate breakfast. Come on, go in and go potty. Now. The floor is going to be lava in 10, 9, no, that's the floor is lava, 8, 7, 6, 5. Hurry, baby Kira, before the floor turns into lava. I made it. The floor is not lava. I'll ride up here just in case the lava comes back. Oh, great. 
I can get devoured by the lava. Perfect. Exactly, you're the mom, my soul. That's what happens. In you go, baby Kara. Make sure you buckle up your seatbelt. I am ma, uh, I gotta buckle my seatbelt. I gotta be a good girl. Oh, that would be so great, baby Kira. Now let's head to the store. Whoa, the roads are kind of slippery today. Say hi to Molly and Daisy. They're at school today. Hi, Molly and Daisy. I got at school. I go to grocery store. I have lots of snacks and stuff. Come on, baby Kira. Let's go inside. It's freezing out. I want to go inside. I like fresh air. Me too, but today might not be the day to get any. It's so cold outside. Okay, get in the cart. I'm black. I'm big girl. No, no. You don't get to have your own car. Oh, my God. Baby Kira, you just put me inside the car. Okay, good. You're finally in the car. Ugh. I'm not being bad, Mom. No, not at all, Baby Kira. Oh, my goodness. Hi, welcome to Brookhaven Mart. How are you doing today? We're good, thank you. We're just going to pick up some groceries. Oh, great. Someone with a kid. I bet their kid's going to be totally annoying. Oh, hey, Karen. Nice to see you. Sort of. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Nice to see you too, Laura. All right, we need some apples, some bananas. Ooh, the red apples look really good this week too. I like Doritos. No, no Doritos. We're going to try to eat healthy. Your dad definitely needs to. He's been eating far too many donuts lately. I want Doritos. Baby Kira, we're not having Doritos right now. I want those, I, I want those taco bars. Da, 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 da. No, no candy, honey. I want candy. Baby Kira, this is not like you. Why, why are you crying? I don't know. I just want candy. I want candy. I want the window. <laughs> Baby Kira, stop this. This is so embarrassing. I want it. I want it. I want it. Whoa, your kid is a total brat. Thanks for pointing that out, Karen. Oh, baby Kira, come on. Mommy will pick you up. There, there. Please stop this. It's really embarrassing. I want candy. Baby Kira, enough of this. Seriously, you're going to get a time out. I know it's disappointing to can't ha you can't have treats when you want one, but not this week. <laughs> Maybe you really just need a nap. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm just going to hurry up at the grocery store. Why don't you just leave the grocery store? Your kid is being so annoying. Karen, you obviously don't have children, but sometimes they have temper tantrums. Uh, what are you doing? Take me out of your cart. I'm going to take you out of here because you're so annoying. Uh, okay, now we're getting in a, in a cart jam. Get out of my way, Karen. St stop it. You're in my way. Hey, why am I sitting in your cart now? Oh my gosh, she is so annoying. Baby Kara, seriously, stop having a tantrum. Please, you're embarrassing me in front of Karen and, and everyone in the grocery store. I want what I want. I know you want what you want. Hurry up and get me checked out. I can't stand being around that kid's that person's brat anymore. Hey, that brat you're talking about is my daughter, and she's two years old. Two-year-olds have temper tantrums sometimes, Karen. Well, if I ever have kids, they're going to be perfect angels. I bet, Karen. I bet they'll take right after you. Um, okay, does your daughter want a lollipop? No, she's having a temper tantrum. She's not allowed to have a lollipop. I want a lollipop! <laughs> Baby Kira, that was so embarrassing at the grocery store. Why were you so naughty and had such a bad temper tantrum? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I think you just need a nap. That's probably definitely what it is. Don't cry, sweetie. After your nap, you'll feel all better. I want a nap. Uh oh, honey. I know. You don't like taking naps because you're little. When you're a grown up, though, and you get to take a nap, it's like the best thing ever. Here's your bottle, sweetie. Now have a good night, night. Please. Please. I just need a break. Have a good night, night. Please. Just need to sit here for like a minute and just relax. Oh, I'm feeling kind of sleepy. Two hours later. Honey, I'm home. Honey? Whoa, must have been a rough day. Good thing I got this takeout. What? What? Where's, where's baby Kira? Where's baby Kira? 
What? I don't know. I haven't been here today. How come you don't know where Baby Kira is? Oh my god, I, I had this dream that she ran out into the street and, and was eating candy and 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 and, and she, she, she almost got hit by a car. Honey, calm down. Where was the last time you saw her? Oh, <laughs> I put her down for a nap, but she's probably not still there because she's been so naughty today. Honey, I'm, I'm sure everything's fine. Wow, did you have a bad day or what? There she is. I can see her little pigtails. Isn't she so adorable when she's sleeping? Yeah, <laughs> that's about the only time now. She's going through the terrible twos. Yes, and they are extremely terrible. Times a million! What happened, honey? She had a giant temper tantrum in the middle of the grocery store and embarrassed me in front of everyone, including this rude Karen who kept calling our daughter a brat. That is rude. She might be a brat, but she's our brat. You're not allowed to call her a brat unless you're, well, me. <laughs> well, let's wake her up and see if she's in a better mood. Hi, baby Kira. You slept for two and a half hours. How you feeling? I feel happy. Well, that's good, because I brought you a happy meal. A happy meal? Yay! Ew. Something smells horrible. <laughs> I read poo poo in my diaper. Ah, the work of a mother never ends. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly, and Daisy and I want to show you this amazing fan video that we found on YouTube. And today's video is going to be based on this fan art. It says Molly and Daisy, but they're evil twins, Polly and Maisie. Bam, bam, bam. Oh my God, this is amazing. Ah! Oh my gosh. Polly is so creepy. Look at Maisie. Whoa. I like my little pumpkin barrette. Yeah, it's adorable. Until you turn into that. <laughs> awesome artwork. Shout out to Maria. We love it. And today's video is going to be based on your fan art. Molly, are you feeling okay? Not really. That Starbucks we got, it upset my stomach really bad. And it's making me feel kind of sleepy. That's just happening because you ate too much, Molly. I hardly ate anything. All I had was one muffin, one sandwich, and two lattes. Molly, that's a lot of food. So that's what I normally eat. Oh, I don't feel so good. Maybe a good night's sleep will make you feel better, Molly. I hope so. Oh. See you next, Melman. was poison! What? What are you talking about, Molly? This is a terrible plague. Why are we put in this jail cell? I don't know, but help! Help! Meanwhile... Well, Polly, it seems that I've hacked into their bank accounts. Perfect, Maisie. I hear their mom coming. Come on, pretend you're asleep. Okay, but, but I'm still uncracking all of the bank accounts. Well, do it after she wakes us up. We're already awake. Maisie! Just trust me on this. Girls, come on. It's time to wake up. I thought maybe we could go school shopping today. We could take Brookie along if you want. Go away. Well, Molly, that's not very nice. Whoa, do you have pink eye? What's going on with your eyes? No, my eyes are just fine. I just stayed up too late, so they're a little red. Whoa, Daisy, your eyes look red too. I think you guys need to see the eye doctor. I think you both might have pink eye. Our eyes are fine, lady. Whoa, lady? I was your mama just last night. Now all of a sudden I'm just lady? Would a lady make you breakfast? Pancakes? Sorry, mom. Yeah, we'll eat your crummy pancakes. What has gotten into you? Nothing, mom. She's fine. Maisie, pull it together before she figures out that we're not Molly and Daisy. Oh, sorry, mom. I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. No problem. Everybody has difficult mornings. Now come on. 
on, let's go eat breakfast. Molly, I know how much you love extra peanut butter on your pancakes with a little bit of syrup, so that's exactly how I made them for you. Ew, pancakes with syrup and peanut butter? You love peanut butter, what are you talking about? Not on my pancakes, that's disgusting. Molly, are you feeling okay? You love to have peanut butter and then syrup. It's like your favorite. Ew, gross, mom. Okay, well, I guess you're growing up now and you don't like the same things. It just seems kind of weird to me. Okay, mom, well, can you leave us alone now? Hey, Polly, you're supposed to like the same things as Molly, remember? You're gonna give us away. Oh yeah, true. Um, hey, we're gonna go play with our best friend. Wait, what's her name? Um, Brookie? Yeah, we're gonna go play with her and then when we come back, can we go school shopping? Sure, but only be a couple of hours, girls, okay? Because I'm gonna do some laundry and clean up the house a bit and then we're gonna leave, okay? Okay, fine, come on, let's go. The pressure to be exactly like Molly around this lady is driving me crazy. Who's that? I don't know, but oh, I hope she doesn't run into us. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, hi, do we know you? We don't talk to strangers. <laughs> you are being so silly right now, Molly. Apparently, she knows who we are. Um, did you guys both get bonks on the head? Uh, it's me, Brookie. Oh, Brookie! Our best friend? Yeah, our best friend, yeah. What do we like to do, Brookie? You girls are acting really, really weird. What's up with your eyes? They're so red. Do you guys have pink eye or something? No, we just have red eyes, okay? Leave it alone already. Now, what should we do for fun? Um, well, you guys like to ride bikes, right? So uh, I could ride my skateboard. You could ride bikes. Perfect. Now, where's my bike? Molly, you keep it locked in the garage for safekeeping. Remember? Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, Molly, what's Daisy doing? I'm going to take Dad's motorcycle. Riding bikes is boring. She doesn't even know how to ride a motorcycle. Of course I do. Now knowing how to ride a motorcycle is lame. Well, you heard her. She wants to ride a motorcycle. Um, you guys are acting really strange today. I think maybe I'll go home. No, don't go home. Then we gotta hang out with that lady inside, and I don't want to. You mean your mom? Did she make you pancakes for breakfast? Yeah, why? Well, then maybe you should be nicer to her. I mean, she always makes you something delicious for breakfast, and... I'm back! Who wants to ride on my Harley? I will! Sounds fun! See you later, Brookie, since you don't want to hang out with us. Um, okay! Wow, those guys are acting so weird. Um, let's get out of here, Maisie. I cannot stand being around these people anymore. Maybe we could go rob a bank or something. Hey, uh, low profile? Duh. We're supposed to be taking over Molly and Daisy's life, not making everyone think that we're bad guys. Exactly. Wait, why are we trying to take over their lives? So we have a pre free place to stay. Pancakes every morning. Yeah, that's true. That sounds like the good life to me, but I still want to rob the bank. Oh, this Maisie, she is so annoying. Okay, well, all right, I'm taking the motorcycle. Have fun. Hey, get back here. Oh, man, I don't have any money, and I want Starbucks. I'm starving. Well, good thing I've solved that problem. What? Maisie, look at all that cash. You didn't want me to rob the bank, but you sure want to use my money when you need something from Starbucks. Well, she does have a point. <laughs> well, 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 who do we have here? Two losers, Molly and Daisy. I don't know who you think you are, but you've come to Molly and Daisy. Yeah, that's who. On the wrong day. What, loser? What are you saying? I'm saying that shirt is so last season and it makes me want to throw up along with your face. What? What did you just say? Yeah, why are you always bullying everybody? Obviously, you're not even that good at it. What? What? And your shoes are gross. It looks like you stepped in dog poop in them. Yeah, ugly. That's what you are. Yeah, I'm gonna spray it with this fire extinguisher. <laughs> Get out of here, bully! Oh my god, I don't know what happened to Molly and Daisy, but they're the worst bullies, even worse than me! <laughs> Way to go. This was amazing, Polly. Yeah, good job, Maisie. I don't know who that bully was, but apparently we got rid of her real fast. Girls, there you are! You've been gone for hours and hours and hours! I told you to come back in two hours so we could go school clothes shopping. Well, it looks like it didn't make any difference to you. You're still doing dishes. No, th that's not the point. I told you to come back in two hours. Ah, fine. Well, at least I made you each bean burritos. You know, I thought you'd be hungry. Wow, that's cool, lady. Why are you guys calling me lady? I'm your mom. Now go sit down. You can eat your bean burritos. Okay. 
Did she even know that I don't really like bean burritos? Must be Molly really likes them. Well, Molly, that's your second bean burrito and, well, nothing's happening. What should happen? Except for the fact it's giving me heartburn. Heartburn? No, 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 no. You haven't even farted. Not even one time. Huh, what? No, I never fart from bean burritos. What? I have my gas meter out and, and no gas has come out of you at all. You're an imposter. Where's Molly? What? What are you talking about? You are not my daughter. Where is she? Daisy, we're never going to get out of here. Don't say that, Molly. Someone will eventually figure out that we're down here. What's that delicious smell? It smells like... Smells like mom's making bean burritos. Oh boy, huh, we're missing bean burritos. Smells so good. <laughs> Ew, mommy, we're stuck in the same prison cell. Why'd you do that? Because if I even smell a bean burrito, I fart. Somebody help! I'm stuck down here and it smells really bad. It's time to get up. Come on, you're gonna be late for school. No, no, I'm not going to school today. Tell him, tell him I, I quit. Molly, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Come on, Daisy, you're usually out of bed. No, not today. She doesn't want to get up today. No, I'm not getting up ever again. I'm so tired. Uh, is it summer yet? What's wrong with you, girls? You've been this way all week. Come on, get out of bed. No, can't cat oh uh, okay fine i'm gonna go get your mom and she'll probably have a bucket of water and she'll dump it right on your head <laughs> good one dad good one daisy i dare you not to move i dare you not to move dare accepted of school yeah mom is it summer yet no girls you still have another month or so of school before summer vacation now get out of bed please nope can't do it oh my gosh here i come with a bucket of water i don't care i'll just have a water bed <laughs> really Ugh, you girls are so frustrating they won't get out of bed for me either wait what this is like, uh, how many days in a row now that they won't get out of bed for school? This is so unlike Daisy. Yeah, I mean, Molly's always been kind of a troublemaker when it comes to going to school, but not Daisy. Uh, I don't know what to do, Laura. These girls have got to get to school. Hmm, I have an idea. Come here, Dan, and I'll whisper it to you. Okay. Really? You want to try that? I definitely do. This is going to work. Come on, follow me. <coughs> Molly, we should probably get out of bed now. Ooh, what now? I'm thinking all day I can sleep in here. Molly, it's like one o'clock. We have to get up. Besides, uh, I won the deal because... Um, I stayed in bed the longest. What? No, you didn't! <laughs> See, you got out of your bed. But you're already out of your bed! Whatever, Molly, we both know I'm the winner. No, you're not! Whatever, I'm gonna go get some cereal. Ah, we didn't have to go to school! This was fabulous. Molly, wait for me! Oh, you took the elevator before I could get down there. Hey, wait a minute, Where? where's Mom and Dad? I don't know, maybe they're in their office or something. I didn't see them in their office. OMG! We have the whole house to ourselves! Mmm, that's very good. Mm. Molly, you're actually eating an apple? Yeah, I am because I'm so hungry. Molly, there's waffles in here. You should eat that. Mmm. Mmm, yum. Molly, I kind of want to go to school now. I mean,. I don't want to be late and get detention again tomorrow. Well, you're already late, Daisy. It's like one in the afternoon. Yeah, but 
Click, 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 click. Um, I, I'm gonna get detention and I, I don't want to. Well, you're already late. Yeah, but if I don't show up at all, then I'll definitely get detention. <sighs> Fine, I'll call mom and see where she is and see if she'll drive us to school. It's ringing. Well, Molly, what, what did she pick up? No, she didn't answer. Let me try her number again. Oh my gosh, Daisy! It, 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 it's making the noise that her phone is disconnected! Well, try dad, try dad. Oh yeah, good idea. Is it Blink Geek? No! His phone is saying disconnected too! What? Appearance? Did they, did they abandon us? <laughs> Don't be silly, Daisy. Don't be silly. But Molly... We, we've been so naughty and we haven't gotten out of bed for school and, and, and now they're not here and the phone is disconnected when have they ever just left us and not made us get up for school wow you're right daisy i'm gonna go to their room and see if their suitcases are there good idea molly good idea daisy you check the bathrooms why molly because dad had enchiladas for dinner last night and he might be in there <laughs> molly i don't think so all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check in their closet or their dresser or whatever. See if their suitcases are there. What? Their, their suitcases are are missing. Yeah, and Dad's not in the bathroom either. Okay, let me check the family safe. OMG! There's only $100 left in here. <gasps> Molly, they took the rest of the money and left. Her parents abandoned us. It's all because we were being naughty and wouldn't get out of bed for school. <laughs> Daisy, don't panic. This could be good. I mean, we could do this. We could we could be adults, right? No, Molly, you're the worst adult on the planet. You never get out of bed to do your chores or your homework. And you don't even have a job. We can't even afford egg or waffles anymore. <laughs> okay. Think, Molly. Think. 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 How can I get Mom and Dad to come back? I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll just turn on the TV and watch that. That'll help. What? The TV won't turn on? Oh, my God. Our parents didn't pay the cable bill. Molly, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Freaking out. Freaking out. Freaking out. Freaking out. Freaking out. Parents abandoned us. We are all... Uh, 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 alone. Molly? Molly? Are you okay? No. I, I, can't, I can't adult. I can't adult! Molly, seriously, snap out of it. Can't adult. Molly, I can't do this alone. Come back to me. Molly, please, please. Oh, Daisy, I see the light. Molly, no! <laughs> Girls, oh, <laughs> there you are. Mom, you're back. I, 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 I didn't know where you were. Um, uh, Molly, are you okay? Molly? Yeah, <laughs> uh, fine. Where were you guys today? We, we knew you were coming back. Yep, totally. Your mom and I just didn't want to deal with being adults anymore, so we went and got ice cream. Yeah, it was super fun. What? We thought you abandoned us and you had ice cream all day? Well, since you didn't want to get out of bed and you were being such brats, we decided we were going to take the day off. OMG, Daisy! Well, you have to admit, Molly, we kind of deserved that. Ugh, parents are, are crazy! Well, Molly, <laughs> are you going to start getting out of bed on time? Uh, Molly... Yeah, but can we get ice cream with you guys, too? If you manage to get out of bed for school for one whole week on time, then I will buy you any ice cream cone you want. Okay, sounds like a deal, Mom. Just don't ever abandon us, okay? Never, Molly. Never. Oh, my gosh. My soccer ball just almost ran down the hill, and if it rolled down that hill... Oh my gosh, I'd have to run so fast to catch it. Or I'd probably get hit by a car. Whoa, no, don't go over the edge! Oh man, not again. 
Hey, loser. Who, who's that? Do they have a Corvette or is that a Ferrari? I can't even tell the difference because I'm too poor to afford an amazing car like that. So, oh gosh, it's Sarah. Hey, loser. Hey, Sarah, where'd you get that car? My daddy bought it for me. Isn't it amazing? Uh, yeah, it really is. Could I go for a ride? No, loser. I just wanted to tell you that tomorrow is rainbow day. Everyone at school is supposed to wear rainbow. And what happens if you don't? You get expelled. What? You're kidding me. I don't even own anything that's rainbow. Well, you better get some because all the cool kids are going to be wearing this and all the losers who don't are going to get expelled. The principal said so. Now I'm out of here. You're really making me look bad. But, but what if I can't find something rainbow? Then you'll get expelled, duh! Oh my gosh, I gotta go tell Daisy. We're gonna definitely have to go to the mall and go shopping. Daisy, Daisy, we're, Daisy! I've been here, Molly, making a snack. Ooh, that looks delicious. Daisy, no time for a snack! What? No time for a snack? Who are you? And what have you done with my sister, Molly? <laughs> you always have time for a snack. Not today. Sarah just drove by in her Corvette Ferrari, I don't know, fancy car, and she said that if we aren't wearing rainbow tomorrow at school, we're going to all get expelled. What? That must be not true. She was wearing a rainbow shirt. Whoa. If she did it, that must mean it's true. What are we going to do? We don't own anything rainbow colored. Well, we have to do your favorite thing. Go shopping, of course. I better call Brookie on the way. Let her know so she doesn't get in trouble. I mean, why didn't the principal just make an announcement? I don't know, but it sounds pretty serious. We need to get these rainbow colors and right away. Hey, this is Brookie. What's up? Brookie, this is an emergency. Molly, are you okay? What's going on? Are you at the hospital? No, but I just heard that if we don't wear rainbow tomorrow, we're going to be expelled. What? Oh, what? My gosh, Molly, why? I don't know. Sarah didn't say. She just said we better wear rainbow tomorrow. Um, I don't own any rainbow. Me either, so want to meet us at the mall? Hopefully we can find something there. Sure, I'll meet you there, Molly. Thanks for letting me know. I'd hate to get expelled. My parents would never forgive me. Me either. I'll see you at the mall, Brookie. Bye. Molly, hop on. Do you want to get to the mall or not? Yeah, we have to get there before they close, or I don't know what we do. I don't know either, Molly. Let's just hope they have some rainbow-colored clothes. Well, I was just thinking that maybe this could be rainbow-colored because, like, look, it's got, like, the galaxy on it. Not good enough! You're gonna, you're gonna get detention and then get expelled and then never be able to return to school! Yeah, sounds like the principal is taking this really seriously. Yeah, it really does. Come on, let's go into Rockstar and see what we can find. No, no, no. How about this? This is striped like a rainbow. Molly, there's only three colors. We must have more colors than that. Okay, um, uh, uh, what else do they got? Um, come on, don't let me down. Oh, look, I look adorable. I got mine. I got mine. Brookie, how are you doing? I can't find anything except for this silly party hat. Oh, no, yeah, that will not do. You need to change your shirt. Um, see if you can find something. They don't have anything in my size. Uh-oh. Brookie's going to get expelled. Bum, bum, bum! No, Molly, no, no, no. We'll just help her. Even if we have to just color her shirt in with some markers. How about these? <laughs> these will work, right? No, you need a shirt that's rainbow. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. Daisy's got a good idea. We can go to the craft store and, and just color your shirt in with, like, some, some, like, Sharpie markers, okay? All right. I feel like I'm going to look ridiculous. No, no, no. You'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Just one more color and it will be complete. Don't stick me with that needle, Molly. No, it's just how I'm making the colors on your tie-dye shirt. There. Perfect. Oh, thank goodness. We all have a rainbow-colored clothes for tomorrow. Now none of us will get expelled. Yeah, but I got to get home and do my homework. I'll see you guys in the morning. Sounds good. Bye. Whoa, we all wore our rainbow shirts. We're not going to get expelled now. Come on, let's get into class. Oh, look who it is. Loser one. 
Loser two. What? Who's that loser? And loser three. Oh my god, Sarah! You you wore your Billie Eilish shirt! But, but, but today's Rainbow Day, and if you, you didn't wear Rainbow, you're gonna get expelled by the principal. <laughs> you losers fell for that. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> today's not Rainbow Day at all. Wait, it isn't? No, and now you guys look like a bunch of freaks, weirdos. Oh my gosh, I haven't worn a rainbow colored shirt since, I don't know, five years old and I look ridiculous. Everybody knows that these Billie Eilish shirts are the cool ones. Well, what about mine? Mine's tie-dye. Isn't mine cool? No, not even. I have your attention, please. This is the principal. Oh my gosh, the principal's gonna make an announcement. Probably that you guys are total losers. <laughs> Today is rainbow day. If you aren't wearing a rainbow shirt, please report to the office. What? Wh what are you talking about? I, I, there's no such thing as rainbow day. Uh, Sarah, you better report to the office. The principal seems a little bit annoyed. Sarah, you didn't wear rainbow on rainbow day? What is going on here? Didn't you hear the rumor? If you don't wear rainbow on rainbow day, you get expelled by the principal. But you're the principal. Yeah, but but I don't want to have to expel myself, so I wore rainbow too. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Where did you hear the rumor from? One of the teachers in the faculty room. They, they said that, 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 that we had to wear rainbow today. Or Brookhaven would be exploding. And also all the students would get expelled. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said Brookhaven would explode. Wait a minute. You made up Rainbow Day? Oh my gosh. The plot thickens. Um, Mr. Sminikins, I don't know what you're talking about, but I made up the whole rumor. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Why is... Why? So that I could make Molly, Daisy, and her friend Brookie look ridiculous in front of the whole school. But... The only one that looks ridiculous is you. Everyone else is wearing rainbow. Well, that, that's just because I'm awesome. The entire football team and cheerleading team are all wearing rainbow. What? Billie Eilish is so not cool on rainbow day. What the, I, I. You uh, are expelled. What? But, but. I have no choice. It's the rules on rainbow day. Ah, oh, this is the worst day ever. Molly and Daisy, I'm going to get my revenge on you. Ah. Oh. I wonder what happened to Sarah. She's been gone a really long time. Ah, oh, I can't believe this. I got expelled. Oh my gosh, Sarah got expelled. Well, it must be the rumors about Rainbow Day were actually true. <laughs> Dad, this show is hilarious. Mmm, these Doritos are good. Oh, baby Kira did not want to go down for a nap. Oh. Sorry, honey. I'll get her on the next one. Sure. Mom, you want some Doritos? That might make you feel better. Oh, yuck. Those smell so gross. Doritos smell gross? What's wrong with you? My stomach hurts really bad. Oh, honey. That sounds terrible. Would you like some chicken noodle soup? No! Don't talk about food! Ew! Do you want some water? No, I don't want anything. I just want my stomach to stop hurting. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. Maybe you have the stomach bug. And if you do, I'm going to stand way over here because I don't want it. That's good, because the smell of those Doritos is going to make me throw up. Oh, man. Maybe we better get you the puke bucket. Molly, seriously, please stop crunching those Doritos. Okay, Mom, I'll put them away. I'm so sorry you don't feel good. Here you go, honey. Here's the barf bucket, just in case you need it. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Incoming. <laughs> Ew, gross. Okay, um, it's about time for me to leave. <laughs> Marley, what's going on over there? You're interrupting my reading. Mom's throwing up into a bucket. Ew, gross. Is she in the stomach bug? I don't know what's wrong with her. She might. 
Oh, no. We're all going to catch it. I just know it. <coughs> Don't worry, honey. I'll take care of baby Kira. Thanks, Dan. Uh... <coughs> Is it time to wake up already? Come on, honey. It's time to get up for work. And, well, the girls, they, they need to be driven to school because, you know, vacation's over. No. I can't get out of bed ever again. Seriously, honey? Is your stomach still upset? Yeah, I threw up all night long. Honey, maybe you should go to the hospital. No, you take the girls to school. I'll stay here. Hopefully I feel better soon. Come on, Molly, get in. Why are we riding in the sheriff's car, Dad? Because Mom can't drive us to school today. That's right, girls, and I have to hurry so I'm not late for work. We look like criminals back here, Dad. Yeah, we kind of do. <laughs> We're behind the metal cage, even. Yeah, if you didn't know, there's like a metal cage between the cop and the criminals. And we're, we're in the back of the cop car. And we didn't even do anything wrong! Molly, if you get another detention, I'm going to put you back here for reals and take you to jail. Seriously? Is mom going to be okay, dad? I'm really worried about her. I'm worried too, but I think she's going to be fine. I may need to take her to the hospital, and if I do... I'll tell the school right away so they'll send you home. Really? Well, then we should definitely take her to the hospital because <laughs> I want to get out of school. Molly! See you later, Dad. Have a good day. Bye, girls. Love you. Okay, now I've got to drop baby Kira off at preschool. Oh, my God. I forgot baby Kira at home. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dad's having a really hard time right now. Yeah, he's not used to doing Mom's schedule, but don't worry. He'll get the hang of it. Seriously, what is wrong with me? Oh, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to die. Oh. Maybe a nice warm bath will help my stomach feel better. Oh, wait. You don't think... No, it couldn't be, Laura. Don't even think that. But it could be. Maybe I should take a test. Oh my gosh. I might be pregnant. Okay, the instruction said just to wait and see if it turns blue. If it's blue, it means I'm going to have a baby. I mean, I already have baby Kira and Molly and Daisy. Oh, there's going to be so many diapers. So many diapers. Okay, let's not freak myself out right now. It's probably just the stomach flu and I'll be fine tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it turned blue. O-M-G. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I'll just call Dan and ask him to come home, and then um, we'll figure this out together. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hey, honey, what's up? Are you still really sick? You need me to take you to the hospital? Um, Dan, could you come home? Um, okay, yeah. Let me just, let me just, um, um, tell my, my boss, and, and I'll be right there. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea, Dan. See you in a little while. Are you okay, honey? Um, I think so. Okay, I'll be right there. Honey? Honey, what's honey? What's wrong? Are you okay? What's that you have in your hand? Um, well, it's a pregnancy test. A what? A, a, a what? A pregnancy test. Uh, yeah, okay, but why do you have that? Well, I have it because my stomach felt like it did when I was pregnant with baby Kira. Oh my gosh! Well, what did it say? It says I'm um, I'm pregnant. We're gonna have another baby. Oh my gosh! Oh, all oh, the diapers! So many diapers! Oh, oh. Dan, are you okay? Dan? Yeah, okay. How to pull this together? We're having a baby? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Actually, honey, I'm kind of glad. You are? I love kids, and I think we have a really nice family. I do too. Except for I wish I could stop throwing up. I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom. Honey, are you okay? I'm going to be a dad again. Maybe this time I'll actually get a boy. Three girls and no sons. <sighs> Look, Molly. Dad's car is home. Oh my gosh. He never comes home early. You know what this means. Something's wrong with mom. Something's really wrong with mom. Mom! 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 Oh, hey, honey. What's up? Mom, are you okay? Why are you eating cotton candy? Mm, it just sounded good. Mom, are you dying? Tell us the truth. Girls, of course I'm not. 
but Dad and I have a really big announcement. Um, honey, I brought you all these snacks. I wasn't sure which one you wanted. Announcement? Yeah, Mom's finally over the stomach bug, apparently. Look at all this food. Nah, she'll be sick tomorrow morning, too. Seriously? Why? What, what's wrong? What disease do you have? Oh, I don't have a disease, girls. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Say what? Pregnant? What are you talking about? You already have a baby. You just had one. Her name's Baby Kira. Did you forget about her? No, it's just, well... <sighs> You're going to have a new little sister. Or brother. Oh. My. Gosh. Seriously? Yep, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but I already took a test, so I know I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh, another baby? What if this time you have a boy? That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. This is amazing news, ma'am. Well, Molly, what do you think about it? Ah, I can see into my future now. Come on, little brother. Please, stop, stop pooping your pants. It's so gross. Oh, Molly. Mm-hmm. The other one needs a diaper change, too. Other one? What are you talking about? Yeah, your little sister, remember? Huh? What? How many babies did you have? Oh, just another eight. Eight? Shh, hush, little baby. Hush, hush. Oh, my gosh. Mom, stop having babies. My future looks grim. Oh, Molly. But look at all the snacks you get till the baby gets here. Baby, is there only one? Or is there eight? Eight? I hope not. <laughs> Dan, if I'm having eight babies, we need a lot more pizza. I'm on it. <laughs> Do you want some uh, juice with that too, honey? No, she can't have eight babies. No! Here comes Brookie now. Good morning, Molly. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning. Oh, Molly, I love your um autumn scarf. That's so cute. Yeah, she's been talking about it all morning. Something about getting ready for Halloween and stuff. Yeah, I'm so excited for Halloween and for fall and stuff. I don't know. I just I like when the leaves all change colors and stuff. Yeah, me too. But um, Molly, your scarf looks adorable, but um, you forgot something. Oh my gosh, you're right! I forgot to get a pumpkin spice latte from, from, from Starbucks! Oh my gosh, my day's gonna go terrible now! No, Molly, that's not what you forgot. It isn't? Oh my gosh, I forgot a, a pumpkin spice um, donut from, from Starbucks! Oh man, I don't have a pumpkin spice latte or a donut? This is gonna be a doubly bad day! No, Molly. What I meant is you forgot your book bag. Wait, what? Yeah, did you forget your homework again? Oh, man. I was so busy putting on this adorable scarf that I forgot my backpack. Oh, I'm definitely going to get detention now. Well, Molly, you could hurry up and do your homework right now. Yeah, it was just a handout. You could go make a copy and then do your homework really quick before the bell rings. Huh, I think it's gonna be too late. It's definitely gonna be too late. <laughs> Not me. I always think of the best excuses. Good morning, class. Happy fall. Mom, you took my seat rude. Uh, I'm sitting here because I want to be the best student ever. Sitting right in the front row, of course. Right, Mrs. Smith? Uh, sure, Molly. <laughs> Turning over a new leaf, huh? Yeah, <laughs> a fall leaf. Get it? Because it's fall. Oh, brother. All right, everyone. Why don't we take out our homework and uh, we can hand that in. I want to get that over with right away. We want to see who did their homework and who didn't. Well, Molly. Daisy, shh. Um, Mrs. Smith, um, you see, uh, I did my homework, but there was this stray dog that was eating out of the dumpster. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a good one. It always is, Daisy. I can't wait to hear her excuse today and whether or not the teacher actually buys it. You guys, be quiet. Okay, this is the truth. I did my homework, but there was a stray dog outside the diner eating from the dumpster. I felt so bad. I went over to see if he needed help. I put my backpack down, but my homework was hanging out of it. I was like, are you okay, stray dog? He ran away, and then, um, well, um, 
somehow we got my homework out of my backpack and ate it. But he was starving, Mrs. Smith. I had to give him my homework. He was hungry. Oh, Molly. I can't stay for detention today. I have a date, so I guess you don't have detention. A date? Woo la la! Ugh, my stomach feels kinda... That, nah, never mind. Molly, I'm sitting right behind you. Excuse me! Oh, no, 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 I'm not done. Uh, teacher? Teacher! Teacher, teacher, teacher! I have to go to the bathroom! Oh, uh, okay, Molly. Are you just trying to get out of the pop quiz? No! No, 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 my stomach really hurts. I have to go potty, I have to go potty, I have to go potty. Uh, yeah, trust me, I'm sitting behind her. And it stinks back here. She has to go. All right, Molly, go ahead. Ha! Thank you! I knew I shouldn't have eaten that bean burrito for breakfast. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Ah, that's better. Just gotta flush the toilet. Wait, why won't the toilet flush? Oh, my God, this is so embarrassing. And I'm not done. All right, I have to go into this next bathroom because I still have to go potty and that one won't flush. Yep, definitely shouldn't have eaten that bean burrito. Oh my gosh, okay, I just have to flush. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The toilet, it, it, it started to overflow. Okay, I'll just walk out of the bathroom casually like nothing's happening. I'm as cool as a cucumber. I didn't overflow the toilet in the bathroom. No, 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 not me. <laughs> oh boy, someone get some air freshener. Stop! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the school is flooding. What? The school is flooding? What do you mean? The school is flooding and I think it started in the bathroom. Um, uh, the school is flooding because of the bathroom? Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. Didn't you just go to the bathroom, Molly? No. Daisy, shh. Okay, everybody wait outside the school while I clean up this giant mess. Um, okay, if you say so. Oh, boy, that's a little embarrassing. Good thing nobody knows it was me. May I have your attention, please? This is your principal speaking. There will be an early dismissal today. Oh, it must be because it's raining and we're gonna get a storm. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, we're gonna like drown in this. You're getting an early dismissal because somebody overflowed all the toilets in the girls' bathroom and now it's flooding all of Brookhaven. Get on the school bus immediately and go home. Marty, did you eat a bean burrito for breakfast? Uh, uh, you're flooding all of Brookhaven. What are you guys talking about? Marley went poo-poo and it's flooding all in Brookhaven. Ew, gross. Um, guys, I think we better get the school bus and get out of here. Well, you guys should be thanking me. We got an early dismissal. <laughs> There's a bus. Come on, guys. Anything to get out of this doo-doo water. Gross. Yeah, you could say that again. Uh, Molly, why are you driving? I don't know. I think the school bus driver, like, quit or something. I quit too if I had to do all these early dismissals. Okay, Molly, well, drive us home. All right, here we go. I don't know. I don't trust Molly's driving. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a great driver. Watch out for that sign! Oh, boy. You really are a terrible driver, Molly. Are you guys sure that your mom won't mind I come over to your house? She's probably doing lots of work. Yeah, she works from home on Mondays, so, you know, no big deal. Okay, well, maybe we should just ask her first. Don't worry, she loves you, Brookie. Everything's gonna be fine. Mom, we got out of school early! Wait, what? Uh, what are you doing home? Um, well, uh... Molly ate a bean burrito for breakfast and flooded the toilets and all of downtown is flooded. What? Oh, yeah, you guys are kidding me, right? <laughs> what really happened? No, for real. She really did flood the toilet. Molly, oh my goodness. Don't eat a bean burrito again. Is it okay if I hang out over here? Of course, Brookie. Mom, I thought you had a bunch of work to do. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking a little lunch break. I was about to watch some TV and you eat a Hershey bar for lunch and you're always nagging me about eating healthy. Well, uh, I'm a grown-up and you're a kid. All right, guys, first thing we do on our um, early dismissal routine is 
get a delicious snack. What do you guys want? I got waffles, I got ice cream, I got pizza. Ooh, pizza sounds delicious. Mm. I think so too. Help yourself to anything you want, guys. Mm. That is some delicious pizza. What do you guys want to do? You want to like ride bikes or something? First, I want to like just chill out and watch some TV. Because, um, yeah, I don't get to watch TV during the day that much. And I really want to because there's always good shows on. No, there's not, Molly. Really? The Puppy and Kitten show was on. Who doesn't like that? I like that. I love early dismissals. Mm. You guys should have eaten apple that's too much healthy. Does she even know how to be cool? Seriously. Puppies and kittens, they're so cute. Ah, I'm so glad I'm not at school right now I'm taking a pop quiz. Instead, my stomach is full of pizza and my brain is full of puppies and kittens. Yeah, this is fun, but like, let's go outside and ride our bikes or something. Good idea. Come on, let's go. Have fun, girls. Be safe. We will, Mom. Oh, man. School bus got, like, stuck right there. <laughs> Molly, I love your bike. Thanks. I just got it. And um, the color green is, like, it glows in the dark at night so nobody, like, runs into you or anything. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, where's Daisy? She said she was going to stay inside and do some studying. Of course she did. Whee! Uh-oh. Where's the brakes? Where's the brakes? <laughs> oh, oh. Are you okay? Oh, I'm underneath the bus. Ah. Uh, well, Molly, you don't look too hurt. I mean, besides the fact that you ran into the bus and it looks like you're missing some of your teeth. What? Missing some of my teeth? Wah! It's okay, Molly. I'm sure the dentist can, like, sew them back in or something. You want to go to the park? Um, uh, yeah, okay. Ooh, Brookie, look. It's the Brookhaven Cemetery. I double dog dare you to go in. What? You didn't even say, um, dare first. You just went to double dog. Well, yeah, because I definitely want you to go in there. I'm not afraid. I could go in there. There's, there's nothing in there. I gotta see this one. <laughs> right before Halloween, she goes into a graveyard. She's super brave. See, Molly, there's nothing in here to be afraid of. Not a single... Oh, my God! Is that a ghost? Molly, run! Ah! Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. There's a ghost in the cemetery! Of course there is! There's a lot of dead people in there! Well, Molly, <laughs> this has been a pretty crazy early dismissal routine. Yeah, there was nothing routine about it. And, um, Molly, you might want to go have your teeth sewn back in. Yeah, I'll worry about that tomorrow. Right now, I just want to soak up this autumn sun while I'm not in school. So, Molly, do you want to tell me what happened to your teeth? Uh, well, uh, well, it all started at school because I had a bean burrito. Oh, boy, I can tell already this is going to be one crazy story. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. Molly, we just had breakfast five minutes ago. I know, but I need some milk. I need some milk! Uh, you're so lucky. I wish I could drink some milk. What? Why? Excuse me, we're trying to have a conversation. Rude! Molly, don't say that. They'll put you in time out. So, Daisy, why can't you drink any milk? My tummy just feels kind of funny today. Uh, it's even sticking out farther than it normally does. You know what that means? It means you gotta fart. <laughs> Repeat after me. <laughs> Ew, Molly, you probably went doo-doo in your diaper. Good morning, girls. Who's ready to ride the ponies? Oh, Molly, you look so sad. What's wrong? I have to tinkle. I have to go potty. Okay, come with me. And then we're gonna go ride the ponies. Aren't you excited? Yeah, I I'm pretty excited. I'm really thirsty, though. Okay, go ahead. Sit on the potty. Can I have a drink? I need some milk. Hello? Hello? Uh-oh, she left. I can't believe she left me all alone on the potty. What if I fall in? What if I What if I go down to the sewer and I drown? Um, Molly, I think you're being a little dramatic. I'm right here, and you're just fine. Now go wash your hands, please. Okay, fine. I can't believe she left me there alone. Terrible caregiver! Molly... I think you're just a little grumpy. Maybe you need a snack before we ride the ponies? Yeah, I need a snack. Of course I do. You always get so hangry. 
Um, is Daisy gonna have a snack too? I don't mind snack. I don't feel good. Oh, Daisy, your stomach still hurts? Well, maybe you're just hungry, sweetheart. Why don't we try feeding you something? All right, Molly, let's just put you in your high chair and give you a snack and a drink, and then we'll go ride the ponies. Okay, mmm, rice, mmm, this is delicious. Daisy, are you sure you don't want any? No, my stomach hurts so bad. I think there might be something wrong with me. Oh, honey, it's probably just, just like a little, a little tummy upset. You'll be okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I ate tons of rice and it was delicious, and then I had a bottle of milk. Ah, my tummy is so happy. My tummy feels awful. Well, maybe once you ride the ponies, you'll feel better, Daisy. Come on, let's go. Oh, look it, I think that pony really likes me. Hi, I'm Molly. Molly, horses don't speak English. Oh, well, maybe they speak horse. Nay, nay, nay. Well, you can't speak horse. Yes, I can. Ooh, here comes a unicorn, or Pegasus. I think it's a Pegasus, because it's got wings. I want to ride the Pegasus. Okay, the Pegasus obviously wants me to ride it, but I don't, I don't know how to get on its back. I'm too little! Teacher, help me! There you go, Molly. You just needed a little bit of help. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun! Whee! Um, and also, that's not a Pegasus. That's a flying unicorn. A flying unicorn? Whoa. The wings are beautiful. Um, can you stop going so fast, though? You're making my tummy hurt. Tell me about it. My tummy's been hurting all day. Okay, girls. Well, since your tummies are both hurting, maybe it's time to go for a nap. Or maybe it's time to go to the hospital. Oh. I don't feel right. I want to see a doctor right now. Oh, Daisy, it's really that bad? No. Yeah, she's been telling you. Uh-oh. No. Oh, my gosh. She no. just threw up everywhere. No. All over that girl. Oh, no. I don't feel good. Ew, you threw up on me. Gross. Does anyone have any paper towels? Um, no, but you could go to get some at the nurse's station. Oh, Daisy, this is making me so sad that you're so sick. Girls, we need to take Daisy to the hospital and quick. Daisy, everything's going to be okay. I promise. Molly, my stomach, it hurts so, so bad. No, Daisy. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. You're the most annoying sister in the world, but I hate to see you sick. I know. It's just so awful. <laughs> well, the doctor's gonna know what to do. I know it. They're gonna make you all better. May I have your attention, please? The next patient is Daisy. I need to go potty. I'm gonna throw up. Ah, uh, you better hurry up. She, she needs a wheelchair. Somebody help. I don't need a wheelchair. I have to go to the bathroom. And also, I think I'm going to throw up again. Not on me. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to get thrown up on. Yuck. Do you have a bucket, Molly? Oh, my stomach. Hi there. I'm Dr. Smith, and I'd be happy to help your sister. Well, you better hurry because she's about to go poo-poo in her pants, and she's throwing up. Oh, my. Okay, sweetheart. Just get right into the wheelchair, and I'll take you into the exam room. And are you okay, little girl? My name's Molly, and yeah, I'm just really tired. Having a sister that's sick is exhausting. Right this way, sweetheart. Everything's going to be a-okay. I hope so. I, I really need a drink. I want some milk, and I want my mommy. I want my mommy, too. Well, your mommy's at work, but don't worry. She's been called. She'll be here as soon as possible. Now, I just need you to lay down in this bed so we can do a checkup and see if there's something wrong with your tummy. Okay, Daisy, let's take a look at your tummy. First, I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on your tummy, and I'm going to feel for any bumps or lumps. I'm feeling very sick. When I turn you or twist you this way, does your tummy hurt? Yes, it hurts so bad. All right, we're going to need to get an x-ray of your stomach and maybe an ultrasound, too. Oh my gosh, is that going to hurt? No, neither one of those hurt at all. Now, come on, Daisy. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about my sister. Oh man. I also have to go to the bathroom. I'm really thirsty and I need a nap. Worst day ever! <laughs> What's happening, doctor? What did you find out? Well, we did the x-ray and 
Your sister has to have her appendix out. Wait, what? I want to have surgery! <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. You won't feel a thing because you'll be asleep. And when you wake up, you'll eat all the ice cream you can stand. Whoa, sounds pretty good to me, Daisy. Could I have surgery too? I'm gonna eat ice cream. I don't wanna. <laughs> all right, sweetie. I'm just going to lay you on the operating table and give you some medicine that'll help you fall asleep. When you wake up, your mom will be here and everything will be all over and your tummy won't hurt anymore. Oh my gosh, I can't believe my sister's gonna have surgery at Twilight Daycare. Do they do surgery here? Yes, we have doctors on staff for such things. Now you'll have to wait in the waiting room, Molly. You can't be in the surgery room, of course. Of course. Oh my gosh, my poor sister. Will she be okay? Will she survive? Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about my sister. She's so annoying, but... <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm worried about her, but I'm also feeling kind of hungry. Where's the snack bar? I totally need to go get a snack. Ooh, a snack bar full of donuts? Yes, please. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. All right, let's see how much everything costs. Ooh, two dollars. I probably can afford that, I think. Give me a donut! My sister's in the hospital, I need it! Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. Can I buy another one? Oh, I'm totally gonna eat all these donuts until I explode. Mm. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Daisy has just finished surgery. Daisy has just finished surgery. Oh, wow. I can't stay here and eat all these donuts. I gotta go see my sister. Daisy? Daisy, are you okay? I feel kind of funny. My stomach doesn't really hurt anymore, though. I want my mommy! Oh, Daisy, Mom's gonna be here any minute. I just know it. How was the surgery? I don't know. I don't remember anything. All I know is they said, count to three. I went one, two. Now I woke up over here. I guess the surgery's over. Yeah, the surgery's over, Daisy. Now they said you could eat as much ice cream as you want. Well, that's good, because I'm very hungry if I'm not eating all day. Oh, I'm so glad you can eat again, and that your stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah, except for they told me after the surgery I'd have to fart a lot. Say what? Yeah, and I'm sort of feeling... <sniffs> Ew, Daisy! Gassy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that smells awful! Oh, it's making me want to... Ew, Molly! Sorry, you stink so bad. Gross! Oh, you're so dramatic. I want my mom. I want my mom! Daisy already told you. She's coming any minute. She's going to take you home, and then you're not going to be able to go to um, Twilight Daycare for at least probably a week because you had surgery. Yeah, but that's okay. I'll stay home and eat ice cream and watch all the TV I want while you have to come and do class and homework and stuff. Wait, what? I have to come even though you don't? That sounds completely unfair. Oh, it is, Molly. All you have to do is have surgery. I don't want surgery, but I don't want to come to school every day. Uh, Molly, that's just the way educational daycare is. And since you're not sick, you get to do all the homework. I don't like this. I don't like this at all! <laughs> today. You can tell that spring is right around the corner. Wait, soccer ball, don't go over the edge. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Oh, my gosh. There goes another one of my soccer balls. Oh, man. Hey, Molly. Brookie, is that you? Holy guacamole. Look at your hair. I know, right? It's so different. I love it. Oh, whoa. It's awesome. You, like, straightened your hair, and you dyed it darker, and then you put red streaks in it. Holy cow, that's amazing. I love it. I love it. Oh, thanks, Molly. So, um, what are you doing? I'm playing with my soccer ball, but it accidentally rolled off into town. But that's okay, because I was thinking that maybe I could go to the salon and get crazy hair, too, because us besties, you know, we should, like, both have crazy hair together. Do you think my hair looks crazy? No, 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 not like crazy, like, woo, woo. Crazy, like, amazing. Like, you're so crazy, girl. You look amazing. Okay, I think I know what you mean, Molly. So, you want to have crazy, amazing hair, too? 
Yes, exactly. Let's go. Molly, wait a minute. What? What is it? Um, I think maybe you should ask your mom first. She's kind of strict, and I don't know if she's going to let you do your hair like that. Um, I, I don't think she'll mind. We should just go. Molly, you know that your mom will probably say no, but you should ask her because you don't want to get grounded for the rest of your life. Okay, fine. I'll go ask her. I'll wait right here, Molly. Hopefully she says yes. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, Molly, what kind of trouble are you getting into? What kind of trouble are you getting into? I'm not getting into any trouble. Mom, mom. Yes, Molly? Oh, I was just trying to think of what I was going to make for dinner tonight. Um, well, while you're thinking about that and not really paying attention, I have a question for you. No, Molly, you can't eat cheesecake for dinner. No, Mom, I was thinking, no, you can't eat a cupcake for dinner. No, 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 it's not about dinner. Um, Brookie dyed her hair like this dark color with red streaks in the front. What? Seriously? Her mom let her do that? Yeah, and it looks amazing. I was wondering, um... Can I take my allowance and um, dye my hair too? Um, no, Molly, I don't think so. What? Why not? Because, Molly, your hair is so beautiful the way it is. Besides, why do you want to dye it? Because I think it'll be really cool, Mom. And besides, look at your hair. I mean, your hair is like rainbow. I, I, I don't understand why I can't have rainbow hair. Well, Molly, I'm a grown-up, so I could do whatever I want with my hair. You're not a grown-up, so you have to do what I say. Mom, I'll do my homework every single night without complaining or detention for the entire month. Come on, Mom, that's a great bargain. Please, please, please! Ugh, oh, you need to do your homework regardless, Molly, but the answer is still no. Maybe when you get a little older. Older? I practically have gray hair! Mom, I am so old. Ugh, so old. Look at these bones. They hardly walk anymore. The only thing that could help me be not so old is to get my hair dyed. Molly, quit being so ridiculous. You're not old at all. You're not even a grown-up yet. And the answer is no. Mom, it's not fair. Why? Molly, I just think you have beautiful hair the way it is. Let's just leave it that way. Fine! Ugh, worst day ever! Hi, Molly! Are you having a great day? I am! Don't even talk to me right now, Daisy! Whoa, she's in a bad mood. Molly, um, how did... Uh-oh, it didn't go well, did it? Uh, uh, uh... Oh, Molly, I'm sorry. You can't get your hair dyed? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get my hair dyed, all right. She said yes, that's amazing! Come on, let's go to the salon. I can't wait. Oh, I'll race you there, Brookie. Oh, yeah, right. My bike is so much faster than yours, Molly. I don't think so. Looks like I'm beating you. Oh, whoa, we almost ran into each other. Whoa! Molly, what are you doing? Be careful. Ah, I forgot which way the salon was because I never go there. Hey, you're cheating by doing a shortcut through the park. Uh, yeah, I'm going to win. Duh. Brookie! Why? You said it was a race. Oh, man, Molly, I totally won. Ugh, I need a faster bike. Well, you can't afford a new bike and your hair getting dyed, so what's it going to be? New hair. Hi there, sweetie pie. What can I do for you today? Um, I'm going to have my hair dyed. Do you know what color, honey? Um, no, not really, but I'm going to think about it while you're washing my hair, okay? Sounds good. Sweetie Pie. Is this the lady who did your hair? Yep, it sure is. Liz is the best hairdresser in all of Brookhaven. She's so fabulous. Look at her makeup and her hair. She's so amazing. So grown up. Yeah, I'm so grown up too. I can't even believe that I get to have the hair done. Yeah, and then maybe we could do your makeup too if you want. Uh, I don't know. I definitely want my hair done though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this water too hot? Ow! Yeah, that was super hot. Holy guacamole. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> Let's try that again. How's that? Too cold! Ah! Sorry. Okay, I think I have it just right this time. Okay, I hope so. Man. All right, you're all washed up. You can go get into the chair, and we'll talk about what color you want your hair to be. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking about doing pink, something totally different that I would never do. Pink? Really, Molly? That's so, like, different than what you'd normally do. I know, right? But I think it could be amazing. It'll look amazing on you, Molly. Go for it. Thanks, bestie. I just still can't believe your mom said yes. Um, yeah, well, uh... She did say yes, 
right, Molly? Um, there, I'm done. You look gorgeous, darling. Thank you. Molly, your mom did say yes, right? Well, not exactly, but once she sees how amazing my hair looks, she'll feel bad for not saying yes. Or she'll ground you for life. Let's make her hair blonde again. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't change her hair color twice in one day. It'll make her hair fall out. My hair fall out? Oh my gosh, no, I think that sounds like a bad idea. And besides, the pink looks amazing on me. Even Liz said I look gorgeous, darling. Well, I have to admit, Molly, it's very different. It's even more drastic than mine, I think. Come on, let's go back to my house and have a snack. Excuse me, are you going to pay for your pink hair? Oh yeah, sorry about that, Liz. <laughs> I gotta pay ya. How much was it? Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars? Um, uh... I'm really sorry, but I only have 250. Ugh, oh, okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to sweep the floors then because uh, basically you have to pay for it. Oh, Molly, you didn't see how much it was before you came in? No, now I have to sweep the floors to pay for it. Don't forget to get all the hair. Ew, gross, I gotta vacuum up hair, that's disgusting. That's what it's like when you work in a salon. Do a really good job, please, you owe me $50. All right, fine. There, how's that? Well, it looks great, but next time try to come with all the money, okay? Sure, thanks, Liz. My hair looks fabulous. I know, darling. You look gorgeous. Molly, I'm really worried about what your mom is going to say. It's going to be fine. Now, come on, let's get on our bikes and go back to my house and get a snack. I'm starving. I'll beat you there. Molly, you never beat me there. Oh, my gosh. She always thinks she's going to beat me there. She never does. I'm going to this time, if I can make it up that giant hill, because the hill is huge. I should ride my bike more and get in better shape. <laughs> OMG! Beat you, Molly. What? Oh, you always beat me. That's so annoying. Come on, let's go get a snack. Hey, Daisy. Holy guacamole! What happened to your hair? Um, what happened to it is I look amazing. Oh my gosh, mom is going to ground you for the rest of your life, Molly. I don't think so when she sees how amazing my hair looks. Oh boy, I don't know what to say to you, Molly, right now except for good luck. Mom, I need a snack. Oh hey, Molly, what did you do to your hair? Please tell me that's a Halloween wig, please. No, it's my actual hair. Liz at the salon said I look gorgeous, darling. Molly. I told you you weren't allowed to dye your hair. Yes, but mom, it looks fabulous, doesn't it? That's besides the point. You are grounded. What? No, mom, I know that you, would, you said no, but look at my hair. It looks amazing. No, Molly, you went against what I said, and there's consequences for that. Consequences? You mean like having awesome hair? Oh, boy, this is going to be good. I got my popcorn for the show. Daisy, get out of here. I don't think so, Molly. <laughs> no, Molly, you're grounded for two weeks. You have to do extra chores to earn money to get your hair back to blonde. Two weeks? Okay, but I can still play Roblox, right? No, and your friend, Brookie, has to go home. Can't see her for two weeks. What? But mom! Molly, when I say no, I mean it. Now go to your room. Oh my gosh, this was a horrible idea. Uh, how'd it go, Molly? Daisy, leave me alone. Pookie, I'm sorry, but I can't be your best friend for the next two weeks. What? Yeah, we can't see each other for two old weeks. I'm grounded and I have to go to my room. No, Molly. I'll write you letters. Yeah, I guess since I can't get on the computer, we could write snail, snail mail letters. Yeah, Molly. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, man, this day stinks. Another day, another detention. And I missed the school bus, so now I have to walk all the way home. Oh, I'm so tired. It was such a long day. What's that guy doing crawling around on the ground? He must have lost his car keys or something. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Be ridiculous, Molly. There's no such thing as zombies. 
Well, where'd you get that cool Halloween costume? Uh, something tells me that he's a real zombie. Ah! Stay away from me, zombie! Stay away! Brains. Is he still behind me? Oh, gosh, yes! He's still coming behind me. Oh, my gosh. Okay, maybe if I just wind him around these swings, he'll get all trapped up, and then and then he won't be able to get me. Yeah, that'll that'll work. That'll work, right? <laughs> okay, he doesn't know I'm over here, guys. He's just running around. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's sitting down on the swing. <laughs> okay, guys, I gotta run home. Wait a minute. First, I should take a picture, because I don't think my family will believe me that, 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 that there's... There's zombies in Brookhaven. I've got to pull my phone on my backpack and, and, and take a photo. Yeah, that's what i got to do. Say cheese, zombie. No, I said cheese. Okay, yeah, all you can say is brains. My house. I've never been so happy to see you, house. Oh, my gosh. Daisy, Daisy. What are you freaking out about, Molly? Oh, it's probably because you're going to have to tell Mom you had detention again. No, Daisy. No, it's, it's much worse than that. You got in school suspension? Molly. No, 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 no. I, I, I was walking home from detention and, and, Molly, take a deep breath. You look like you saw a ghost. Worse, a zombie. Molly, don't be ridiculous. Stop pranking me. No, Daisy, seriously, I really saw a zombie in Brookhaven. I think there's going to be a zombie apocalypse. No, there's not, Molly. I don't believe you. Oh, really? Look at this. Holy guacamole! You, 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 you took a picture and some video of a real zombie? Whoa, that's YouTube gold. Or maybe we could put it on TikTok too. Daisy, not the point! We're gonna we're gonna be eaten by zombies! They they all want our brains! Oh my god, we have to tell mom and then we have to leave Brookhaven! Okay, well maybe you should tell her she believes you better. Yeah, that is true. You fib sometimes. But have your photo and video as backup, just so we can show with a proof. Got it, Daisy. Come on, let's go tell her. Ah, <sighs> what am I going to make for dinner tonight? Oh, hey, girls. Molly, did you have detention again? Um, yes, but Mom, we have something very, very scary, drastic, and crazy to tell you. What? Are you girls okay? What's going on? Mom, take it from me. I didn't want to believe Molly when she said this, but it's the truth. There's a zombie in Brookhaven. What? What are you talking about? That can't be true. Show her the video and the photos, Molly. Okay, Mom, come look. What is that? It's a real life zombie, Mom. We have to get out of here before all of Brookhaven panics and, 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 and we can't get out of here. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay, you girls go start packing your bags. I'll call your dad at work. If we don't get out of here soon, Mom, we might turn into zombies. Don't talk like that, Molly. Just go pack a bag. Don't bring too much. We need to be very mobile. Okay. Oh my gosh, what do I pack for a zombie apocalypse? I'd like to think of it as packing for a vacation. We're not staying in Brookhaven where the zombie apocalypse is. We're staying in a beautiful new town where there's no zombie apocalypse. Well, that is true, but I'm going to miss my friends. Yeah, me too. Here's hoping they don't turn into zombies. Yeah, here's hoping. Are you packed already, Daisy? I sure am, Molly. Daisy, do you think I should pack my metal detector? What? Why? Why would you need that? In case, you know, maybe you could detect a zombie or something. Molly, ma, they aren't made of metal. Uh, yeah, but, okay, yeah. I guess I don't need that. How about my guitar? And then I could be like, la, 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 in case we have a campfire. Molly, we're not going to have a campfire. We're just trying to escape from some zombies. Okay, well, what about my ice cream cart? You know, that thing is amazing. And we can make some extra money. I could sell it on the beach, you know. I could sell chocolate ice cream. Molly, just pack some clothes and stuff. And don't forget underwear. Why? Um, should I not pack, like, you know, like, anything else? Like, my computer or... Yes, bring your computer, of course. But, like, just, like... Clothes, underwear, socks, a hairbrush, a toothbrush, toothpaste. You know, the necessities, not a guitar. But what if we get bored and you need me to sing you a song to turn that frown upside down and not think about some zombies? Ay, ay, ay. I think sometimes, Molly, you're already brain dead. Oh, Daisy, that's rude. Just pack, Molly, hurry. I'm packing the guitar. I don't care what she says. 
Don't worry, family. I'm going to take care of all of us. Dad, you made it home! Yes, and I saw five more zombies. And, and, it, and it's not good. They're going to make the announcement soon, and the roadways are going to get all clogged, and we're not going to be able to get out of Brookhaven, and then we're going to turn into a zombie family! Oh, man, that sounds awful. Okay, let's go get in the car and get out of here. Bye, Brookhaven. Bye, beautiful house. I'm going to miss you. I brought a little vehicle to help us, uh, so, you know, the zombies can't get in. Well, at least not right away. Only guacamole, Dad. You're super prepared. Okay, Molly, buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy, long ride out of Brookhaven. Really? Why aren't the roads paved? No, this vehicle is just really bumpy. Oh. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Oh, listen, Dad. Um, they're making an announcement on the radio. Maybe they're going to give away, like, free tickets to Disney since, uh, you know, Brookhaven's kind of zombified. I don't think so, Molly. Let's just listen to the announcement. We want to let you know that zombies are starting to take over Brookhaven. We don't want anyone to panic. No panicking, please. But we don't want any of you to turn into zombies. So we're asking you all to stay in your houses. Do not leave your houses. Uh-oh, we broke that rule. Not really, Molly. I mean, we didn't know that we were supposed to stay in our house before they made the announcement. But look, we've already made it to almost the line. You know, the line out of town. Whoa! So far, nobody's on the road. Well, give it some time, Daisy. I'm sure a lot of people will be on the road soon trying to escape Brookhaven. Good thing we got out when we did so we don't turn into zombies. Dad, look! It looks like they put a wall up all around Brookhaven! Yeah, but look, there's still one road we can get out of. No, they've got a construction on that road. It's closed. Well, Molly, this is kind of a circumstance where I don't care about road construction. We need to get out of here before the zombies get us. Okay, Dad, well... Put the pedal to the metal and let's get out of here. Mom, look, we're almost out of Brookhaven. I know, honey. We're finally going to be safe. Okay, everybody. Here we go. Goodbye, Brookhaven. Wait a minute. It's blocked. What? There's like a force field here. Oh my gosh. They've, they've, they've made it impossible to leave. But the zombies are in Brookhaven. You have to let us out. Let us out of this force field right now! Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's official. We're doomed! Breaking news, breaking news. <sighs> the government has put a force field around Brookhaven because we are now considered a zombie zone and they don't want it to spread to the rest of the country or world. I hope you all remain safe and don't become zombies. This is our last news report. Goodbye. What? They put a force field around us and they're not going to let us leave? But they're zombies! Speaking of zombies, um, there comes one right now! Ah! Okay, um, guys, we need to go, like, right now. Where are we going to go? Everything's closed up. I don't know, but there's a zombie coming and I can't get inside this giant truck. We're all going to die! Ah! Well, no, we're not going to die, Molly. We're just going to turn into zombies. We're now being a zombie family. Brains. I don't want to be a zombie. I don't want to be a zombie! Daisy! 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 What? Oh my gosh, you're so annoying right now. Yeah, but don't you want to hear what I have to say? Huh? 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 Um, I guess... Maybe if it's not annoying. Whoa, my sister is so grumpy sometimes. Only because you make me, Molly. <laughs> um, Brookie just invited you and me over to her house to hang out. Do you want to go? I'd love to, Molly, but I'm doing this science research for the science fail. About puppies and kittens? Yeah, that's what it's about, my science project. It's adorable! Okay, well, sit yourself. I'm going to Brookie's and having tons of fun while you do all that homework and stuff. It's not homework. It's research. Okay, whatever. It all seems like homework to me. Boring, boring, and also boring. I can't wait to go to Brookie's house. And um, she has the craziest house ever in Brookhaven, but whatever. Her mom just, like, loves plants, so <laughs> they have a greenhouse inside. Hey, Brookie! 
I just let myself in. I hope you don't ma mind. Oh, hey, Molly. No, I'm just doing my chores. Mom wants me to water these vegetables. She said that the squash are almost ready to plant, which means I'm gonna have squash salad, squash sandwiches, squash pie, squash soup. Whoa, sounds like you're gonna be eating a lot of squash. Yeah, you do live in a crazy house though, and I think it's really cool. Thanks, hey, you wanna come to my room? Yeah, totally, let's go. So Brookie, tell me the truth, come on. Do you like Jacob? What? <laughs> yeah, right. I see how you look at him in math class. I think you have a crush. Well, only my diary knows. Wait, you write in a diary? Yeah, it's right here. Can I read it? Ha ha ha. No, Molly, it's a secret. But you could have your own diary if you wanted, and you could write in that about, you know, crushes or enemies. Enemies? Do you have any enemies? Not really. <laughs> but I do have a crush that only me and my diary know about. Huh, I wonder who that could be. I'm not expecting anybody. Maybe it's somebody saying you want a trip to Disney. Wow. <laughs> I doubt it, Molly. Why, anything's possible in this world. Anything, Brookie. Come on, let's go see who it is. If I can figure out how to get downstairs from your house. Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's Sarah. What is she doing here? My thoughts exactly. Uh, are you guys gonna, like, let me in or what? Um, that depends. Are you gonna be nice? Of course I am. I just came to hang out with you guys. Uh, I don't know if I trust her, Brookie. But she seems nice enough today anyway. All right, if you think so, I guess let her in. So what brings you to my house today, Sarah? Just wanted to hang out with you guys, but also I was just wondering, are, like, you guys best friends still? Uh, yeah, of course we are. Yeah, why wouldn't we be? Oh, I just heard everybody talking about you guys at school. Everybody? Why? What were they saying? They were saying that, like, each of you says something rude about the other behind their back, like, all the time. What? Oh, that's not true at all! I would never say anything rude about Brookie behind her back! I wouldn't say anything rude about Molly behind her back! Why would everybody be saying that? I don't know, but like, if you guys can't get along, maybe you shouldn't be friends. Sarah, we can get along just fine. We're best friends. Get over it. Well, okay, but I mean, <laughs> maybe you guys just aren't meant to be BFFs. No, I don't think that's true, Sarah. Just because people talk doesn't mean that it means anything. People just talk, talk, talk. They always have opinions, but their opinions aren't always right. Yeah, opinions are like boogers. Everybody's got them, and they're always, well, ew. Uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> of course I couldn't. We're best friends. Um, You guys want a snack? I'm really hungry. You're hungry too? It's like you read my stomach's mind. <laughs> but then again, we're BFFs. Of course you know when I'm hungry. Well, actually, you just kind of knew when I was hungry. But maybe our stomachs communicate to one another. Could be. Do you want a snack, Sarah? No, I'll just stay here and wait until you get back. Okay, suit yourself. Do you have any cupcakes? You bet we do, Molly. Ooh, wait, are they squash cupcakes? <laughs> they may have squash in them. <laughs> What's she hiding under her dresser? Everybody hides something under their dresser. What's this? Her diary? <gasps> she loves Jacob? <laughs> Well, that's a great piece of news. But also, I can take this diary and blame Molly for it. That'll be the end of their super annoying, perfect friendship. <laughs> I'm out of here. Mm, this is delicious, Brookie. Mm, I don't even taste the squash in it. Yeah, but chances are Mom put squash in it because she wants us to be healthy and stuff. Oh, Sarah, did you change your mind? No, I changed my mind about hanging out with you guys. You're just losers. Wow, rude. Okay, well, bye. Have a nice life. Wow, I don't know why she's so rude all the time. Me either, but it seems like she doesn't like us at all. Mm. Not gonna let it ruin my day, though. Mm. Okay, maybe I taste the squash a little bit. So, um, what do you want to do now? Um, I think I'm gonna write in my diary for a minute. Just because I feel kind of like 
like sad about how Sarah was treating us. You write in your diary when you feel sad? Yeah, I find it's really helpful to write in my diary. It gets all of my emotions out on paper and doesn't leave them inside me to just make me feel like I'm gonna explode! Okay. <laughs> um, alright, well, I'll just chill over here then and like play on my phone or something. Ooh, my new obby! Oh, it's gonna be so fun. Where is it? Where, where is it? Gosh, I can't find my diary anywhere. What are you looking for, Brookie? Did you take my diary? What? Me? No. Well, maybe you should empty out your pockets and show me. What? You don't believe me? I've been your best friend since preschool. You don't believe that I wouldn't take your things? I don't believe you because it's missing. And Sarah said you've been saying all those mean things about me, and then you wanted to read my diary? Brookie, I didn't take it, I swear! You're the only one who knew where it was. Well, maybe Sarah took it. She didn't know where it was. She didn't even know I had a diary. You took it, Molly. Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything! This is ridiculous and my best friend doesn't even trust me. I'm out of here! Well, fine, you don't get to be my best friend anymore! Yeah, and I don't want to hang out at your house either as soon as I can figure out how to get out of your crazy greenhouse house. I'm going home! Oh, hey, Molly! I was just finishing up and thought I would come over and hang out with you and Brookie. You can go over that at that girl's house if you want, but she's no friend of mine. What? What are you talking about, Molly? Is this some sort of prank? No, she accused me of stealing her diary, and I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Molly, you have a lot of things, but a thief isn't one of them. Why'd you think that? Because her diary went missing. Anyway, her and I are now enemies! She's not my friend. Ever. Again! Hey, Molly, you didn't get detention today. That's amazing. Huh? What? Oh, hi. Hi, hi Luke. Hey, um, so, uh, you didn't get detention. Yeah, I don't always get detention, just, like, most of the time, but not today. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, um, so are you going to go to the dance tomorrow night? Um, uh, uh, bye! Okay, bye, Molly! Oh, my gosh, I just got so nervous when you started talking about the dance. I ran away! Oh, why do I always do stupid things when Luke is around? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go around the corner and make sure he's not here anymore. Okay, I think he left. Good. Oh yeah, there he goes. He's going out the door. Oh, phew. I can't believe I'm so dumb around him. Molly, are you okay? Not really, Brookie. Ugh, I always do dumb stuff when Luke is around. Oh really? Um, why? Luke's really nice. Uh, it's not really funny, Brookie. It's it's kind of sad, actually. Sorry, it just seemed like you were joking. I mean, Molly, you're not dumb. You're one of the smartest people I know. Even if you don't do your homework because you're lazy. Me? Lazy? Never. Well, Molly, what makes you so nervous around Luke? You know what? I don't really want to talk about this at school. Want to come over to my house? Sure, Molly, let's go. All right, let's make sure Luke isn't outside. Uh, Molly, I think he's gone. And it's not like he has cooties or anything. What's what's going on with you? I'll tell you when we get to my house. Okay, Molly, so what's the deal? I'll tell you after we have a snack. Molly, are you just stalling? Come on, you need to tell me what's going on. First, I need a snack. I'm starving. All right, Molly, fine. Ooh, leftover pizza. Mmm. Want some? Mmm, that's delicious. Nah, I'll just have an apple, thanks. So, what's the deal with Luke? Uh, okay, so here's the deal. Luke and I have been friends for a really long time, but I just started to feel like, well, maybe I like him, like, more than a friend. Wait, what? Like, you have a crush on Luke? Seriously, Molly? A crush on him? Um, well, um, I guess that's what you'd call it. I don't know, whenever he's around now, I get butterflies in my tummy. I say dumb things. I sort of ran away when he started talking about the dance. What? Do you think he was going to ask you to the dance? I don't know, but maybe. I can't go with him, though. I'd be too nervous. Are you crazy, Molly? He's your crush. You have to go to the dance 
dance with him. It'd be so magical. You guys can dance. You could wear a pretty dress. I don't know about all that. I don't, I don't know. Molly, trust me on this. So, um, how are you going to tell him you like him? Um, I'm not. I'm not going to tell him. Molly, you can't run away from me. I'm your friend and you invited me over. Okay, I'm just sitting on the couch. Just, I can't talk about this anymore. Listen, Molly, I have the perfect plan. Uh-huh, sure. Can't talk about this anymore. It's too stressful. Molly, I think you should write Luke a love letter. Say what? A love letter? <laughs> I didn't say I loved him. Obviously you do, Molly. You um, check all the boxes for being in love. Really? What are they? One, you get butterflies in your tummy whenever they're around. Okay, yeah, I do have that. Two, you say super dumb things because you're so nervous around them. You don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, okay, yeah, I, I do that. And three, you can't stop thinking about him, can you? Well, um, uh, uh, okay, yeah, no, I can't. See, Molly? You love Luke. Hey, that's enough of that. Don't tease me about it, okay? You can't help it if you love somebody. It just happens. So what do you think, Molly? Want to write him a love letter? <sighs> okay, let me go get some pen and paper from the kitchen. Okay, what should I say? How about Dear Luke? Well, duh, of course I'm going to say Dear Luke. All right, Dear Luke. Now just tell him how you feel, Molly. I really, really, really like you. I think you're cute and smart and an awesome football player. And, um, uh, what should I say now? Say you want to go to the dance with him. Okay. And I want, I'm too afraid I can't tell him. Yes, you can, Molly. Tell him. And I want to go to the dance with you. Now, all you have to do is sign your name. Yeah, I'm not doing that. But Molly, he needs to know it's from you. No, I can't tell him it's from me. How about from like a secret admirer? All right, Molly, tell him you'd love your secret admirer. Love your secret admirer. Okay, well, now what? Uh, you can deliver this to him, right? Um, yeah, I guess I could. Tomorrow at school. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. What if he figures out it's me? Well, then hopefully he'll ask you to the dance. Where's my math homework? I actually did it, and, and it's not in my locker. Oh, man, don't tell me I forgot it at home again. Hey, Molly, good morning. Oh, oh, hi, Luke. <laughs> I didn't see you there. I really like your cat unicorn shirt. It's adorable. Oh, um, thank you. Okay, I I've got to get to class. Bye. Bye, Molly. Why does she keep running away from me? I thought we were best friends. Oh, look, there's Luke. Hey, Luke. Oh, hey, Brookie. What's up? Uh, yeah, um, your secret admirer wanted me to give you this letter. What? A, a secret admirer? Seriously? Who's it from? You must know. I'm sorry, Luke. I can't tell you, um, because they were wearing a mask and I couldn't see who it was. <laughs> yeah, that lie should work. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'll open it. What does my secret admirer want? Maybe they think I'm super good at math and they want, like, me to help them study or something. Dear Luke, I like you. I really, really, really like you. And I want to go to the dance with you. Love your secret admirer. Oh, I know this handwriting. Whose handwriting is this? <gasps> it's, it's Daisy's. Oh my gosh. I never thought Daisy had a crush on me, but I mean, her pigtails are pretty cute. And she wants to go to the dance with me. I mean... I am best friends with Molly, so I feel like I know her better, but Daisy's cute, and, uh, yeah. I'll go to the dance with her. I'll ask her as soon as I get into math class. Brookie, Brookie, did you give Luke the letter? Uh, yeah, I totally did. Did he want to know who it was from? Of course he did, but I told him the person who gave it to me was wearing a costume, so I couldn't see. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Yeah, but, um... <laughs> If he figures it out, he's probably going to ask you to the dance. Well, I hope so. I mean, I kind of hope so. I don't know. Will I get really bad butterflies in my stomach? What are you guys talking about? Nothing. None of your beeswax. I'm going to study for this math test because I'm going to ace it. I just know it. Hey, Daisy. Good morning. Oh, hey, Luke. Sorry I'm a bit busy right now. 
It's okay. I just want to say that what you said was really nice, and I was wondering, um, uh, would you uh, like to go to the dance with me? Wait, what? Oh, um, uh, well, you're best friends with my sister, but, um, yeah, you guys are just friends, so. Pookie, Pookie, why is he asking Daisy to the dance? I have no idea. Oh my gosh, why is this happening? I'll go to the dance with you, sure. What? No, you can't go to the dance together. What? Why, Molly? What's going on? Um, you're going to have diarrhea that night. What? Mo Molly? Why are you saying that? That's embarrassing. Uh, because we're having bean burritos. Mom put it on the family menu. And bean burritos always give you that... Molly! You, why are you saying this? Oh my gosh, look, I'm so embarrassed. My sister's being so rude. Oh, uh, well, you know, all of us have gotten diarrhea before. It's not really fun. I'm not going to have diarrhea. I never get that, not even from bean burritos. She doesn't even know what she's talking about. Molly, why are you being crazy right now? Um, uh, uh, uh. So, Daisy, um, you know, about the letter. What? What letter? Oh, 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 yeah, the letter. What? She knows about the letter? Yeah, I wrote a letter to everyone in the class saying they really needed to try harder because um, we're not going to get our grades up as a school if... Oh, huh? what? 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 No! That, oh, my gosh! Brookie, this is going terrible! Well, you're going to have to tell him that you're his secret admirer. No way! I'm glad you're my secret admirer, Daisy. What? what? I'm not your secret admirer. Wait, but you wrote me a letter saying that... You really, really, really liked me and you wanted me to go to the dance with you? No, I didn't. But it looked like your handwriting. Oh my gosh, this is humiliating. Oh, MG, I'm gonna go hide in the girl's bathroom. No, don't you wanna see what happens next? Not really. Um, okay, well, I, I know you're shy about being my secret admirer, but there's no reason to be Daisy. Like, come on, we, we totally can go to the dance together. I think you're really cute. What? You think my sister's cute? That makes me kind of angry and jealous. What? Why? Why would you be jealous, Molly? Because she's the one that sent you the letter. Brookie! How could you? Oh my gosh! Wait, what? You're my secret admirer? What? No, Brookie's just making that up. I'm not your secret admirer. I think she is. Me and Molly have pretty similar handwriting. Um, uh, Molly, um, I don't know what to say. Maybe you should say that you'll take her to the dance. But I already asked you, Daisy, and you said yes. So we're going to the dance. What? Ah! This is the worst day of my life! All right, I gotta go cry in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> ah! Mrs. Harris sure did give me a lot of homework tonight. I think I've been working on it for like two hours. Uh, who knew high school was going to be this hard? I wouldn't have known it if you told me. Okay, let's see. I just have to write one more report and then I'm done. Do, 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 do. Ooh, my stomach is growling. I better go get a snack before I finish my homework. Do, 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 do. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. Hey, mom, what are you doing? Oh, just making a little snack. A snack? Ooh, I wish I could wait around for the deliciousness that you're making, but the truth is, I have too much homework. So I'm just going to eat a yogurt and then I'll get back to it. I'm so proud of you, Daisy. You're going to get great grades this year. I'm going to try, Mom. Daisy, what are you doing right now? Well, Molly, I just had a snack, and then unlike you, I'm going to be doing my homework. What? I did my homework? There's no way you did it that fast. Yeah, I'm just super, super smart. Girls, 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 I know you're sisters, and that means that you never want to get along, but trust me, you should try to get along. Wow! Pancakes! Daisy, do you have time to eat some pancakes? No, but I have to get right back to my homework. 
Hey guys, uh, I was wondering if maybe you could help me with my math homework. Sure, I'll help you. Since I already finished mine. I put it to a smiley. She probably doesn't know what she's doing. Daisy, that's not very nice. <laughs> now it's back to my homework again. Ah, oh, let's see. This one has to be 3,000 words. 3,000 words? How am I gonna, how am I gonna finish all that by tomorrow morning? Guess I'm not watching the Boily Colored Unicorn on TV tonight. Oh. Almost done, and I'm getting super tired. Now I have about five seconds to play a video game or watch a Boily Colored Unicorn. Oh, uh, which should it be? Which should it be? Oh, what's a burly colored unicorn? The burly colored unicorn, the burly colored unicorn. Do, 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 um, I better go to bed. It's 8.59. What are you doing, Daisy? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Marley, I'm about to go to bed. I have a big math test tomorrow. We have to make sure that they get a good grade. You're going to bed at 9 o'clock? How lame. Molly, I have to get my sleep or I won't get good grades. Uh-huh, sure, Daisy, sure. Come on, Daisy, let's watch the brightly colored unicorn for just like an hour. Okay, Molly, you talked me into it. Really? Yeah, I've been wanting to watch it for a while. Hopefully, you can still wake up in the morning. Oh, I totally will, Molly, I totally will. I'm responsible. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 do. Girls, are you still awake? It's almost 10 o'clock. Your bedtime is at 9.30. Yeah, but mom, this is a new episode of the brightly colored unicorn that we have to see. Yeah, mom, they go to unicorn land. Okay, I guess you can watch for another 10 minutes. What's that smell? Molly, did you take a bath before bed? Uh, well, uh, ew. Molly, make sure you take a quick bath before you go to sleep. You're stinky. Okay, fine. The boily colored unicorn, the boily colored unicorn. Oh my gosh, that was the best episode ever. Hey guys, uh, I still don't understand that math problem. Oh my goodness, you need to go home. It's 10 o'clock at night. Jeez, your mom's gonna wonder where you are. Good night, Daisy. Good night, Molly. <sighs> I'm all clean and ready to go to bed. Now I just have to turn off the light. Super bad idea. I knew it was going to be. Okay, I'll clean. I'll clean. Now I gotta, I gotta, I gotta brush my teeth. Can't forget to do that. Can't have stinky teeth for school. <laughs> push it, 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 push Okay, now where did I leave my homework? Ah! I don't know where my homework is and I need it! Okay, Daisy, don't freak out. It's right over there. Oh, that's a giant pile of homework. Hee <laughs> hee. Better grab a quick breakfast. Just in case. Um, yeah. I gotta have a good breakfast. Because I can't go to school without it. I better just get going because I don't want to be late right now. Even though I think I'm going to be. Hey, wait a minute. Where's the sun? Uh, must be it's just gonna be no sun today. Super rainy in Texas lately. 
do 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 Wait a minute! The school bus isn't here yet, is it, Molly? Ah, uh, nope. No school bus here. Okay, good. I didn't miss it. Hey, wait a minute. Why are there stars in the sky? Ah, uh, the sun forgot to come up. <laughs> uh, Molly, what are you talking about? It's midnight. Uh, no, it's not. It's it's almost 8 a.m. And my sister's going to be late for school. Ugh, Ma... Molly's totally pranking you, Daisy. What? What are you talking about? Ugh, I'm so tired. Uh, she's not talking about anything, Daisy. Definitely not. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, she is. Basically, she's saying it's time for school, but it's only midnight. You don't have to get up for school for another, like, seven hours. What? Molly! Why did you tell me that it was time for school and I was late? <laughs> Because it's hilarious. Molly! Oh my gosh, wait till I come in your room. Molly, open this door right now. Molly, seriously. Molly, knock, knock. Okay, now I have to tweak my sister since he opens the door. <clears throat> Excuse me, special delivery for Molly. I have four pounds of delicious chocolates. Um, should I just give them to your sister? <laughs> ah ha ha Molly! You tricked me! And you got me out of bed at midnight! I'm telling Mom! Daisy, no! Don't tell her, okay? Uh, I'll give you... I'll give you an entire chocolate bar. Ay, ay, ay. Having you as a sister is... It's just terrible sometimes! Don't say that, Daisy. I think you love me more than anything in the whole universe. Ah, uh, whatever, Molly. I'm going back to bed. Daisy, don't forget you have to get up for so for school soon. Uh huh. Sure, Molly. So sure I do. Daisy, Daisy. Daisy, 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 wake up, wake up! What, what's going on, Molly? What's going on? It's time for school, come on, get up! Okay, Molly, okay. Hey, wait a minute, why is it still dark out and the stars are in the sky? <laughs> you fell for it again! <laughs> Molly, I'm gonna get you! I swear I'm gonna get you, Molly! Was it just me, or was that just like the longest school day ever? I couldn't agree more, Molly. I felt like we just took test after test. Yeah, I know what you guys mean. Oh, I can't wait to get outside and get some fresh air. Me too. Let's walk home instead of taking the bus, guys. Sounds good to me. And me too. Whoa, do you guys see that? It's it's a bunch of money on the ground. Holy guacamole. Well, you know what I always say. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. <laughs> You're rich, Brookie. You can buy us each like 20 ice creams. You know, if you want to buy us 20 ice creams. I think I'd love to buy you 20 ice creams, but I think there's a lot more money here than even that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't keep that money. Why not? She found it. Finders keepers, losers weepers. Because, Molly, someone's missing that money. We have to take that to the police station right away. Well, I mean, Molly's kind of right. I did find it, Daisy. Yeah, Daisy. Quit being such a goody two-shoes. She found it on the ground. You know, the person who lost it. Oh, well. So sad. Too bad. Molly, can you imagine what kind of life of crime this will lead Brookie down? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. A life of crime. Are you serious? Yeah, I could just see it now. Oh, man. I parked my sports car wrong. Oh, well, I have lots of money. I'll just buy a new one. <laughs> uh, oh, well, someone should come tow this one, though, because it can't stay up on my deck forever. Look at my house. It's amazing. It's so good to be rich. I'm so glad I kept that bag of money I found in Brookhaven. Hello.
Hmm, I wonder who could be at my door right now. Oh, it's probably a pizza. <laughs> I love pizza. Come on in. Hello, are you Brookie Cookie? Um, yeah, that's me. I'm here to serve you an eviction notice. What? What's an eviction notice? It means you have to vacate this property because you haven't paid your taxes. What? I have to pay taxes? There are $10,000 a year. $10,000 a year? Are you crazy? This expensive mansion costs a lot in taxes, and you haven't paid it. So I'm here to give you this eviction paperwork. The county will now own your house. Oh my gosh! This is horrible news! Well, have a great day. Sorry to deliver such horrible news to you. It's my job. Oh man, I, I can't get out of this house. Where, where's the door? It's right here. Okay, well, have a good day. Yeah, thanks. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna lose my luxury lifestyle because I've run out of money. Oh! Wait a minute. I know what I can do. <laughs> I'll just, well, um, steal, I mean, find some more money. How hard could it be to get that much money again? I mean, I found it on the street once, so... I'm pretty sure I can just find some more. <laughs> Even if I have to steal it. Well, this is where I found all that money before. Maybe there's still some here. What? There's no money here? What? Well, I heard that saying that money grows on trees. I think that's what it is. I don't know. Let me go check some trees. Maybe I'll find some money there. What? This tree doesn't have any money. And neither do any of the others. Maybe I just need to cut this tree down. There's probably some money at the top of it. Or maybe the saying was money doesn't grow on trees. Ah, oh, well, I guess I'll have no choice but to go to the bank. I need to get some money out of the bank for groceries. I'm super hungry. Brookie, is that you? Who are you? Why are you talking to me, loser? You mean, you mean you don't, you don't recognize me? I was your best friend for so many years during school. Well, until you got all that money and you moved outside Brookhaven, never wanted to talk to me anymore. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I'm about to have some money coming out of the ATM, so I'm kind of busy right now. Whoa! It looks like you smashed it. Me? I didn't smash it. You smashed it. Just want to tell you that the police are on their way. I can't believe you broke into Brookhaven Bank and stole all that money, Molly. What? It wasn't me. You're trying to frame me. See you later, stinker! <laughs> Brookie, you've changed so much. That can't be the the Brookie that was my best friend. It can't be. <laughs> oh no! It's it's Daisy Cop. Oh my! You robbed the bank. Wait a minute. My sister robbed the bank. Um. Uh. No. It wasn't me. Sure looks like you. I swear it. <laughs> it wasn't me. Well, you're the only one in the bank and the alarm went off and all the money's gone. So who else could it be? Seriously, you're going to frame your own sister? Frame? I didn't frame you. I'm just arresting you. Look, I don't have the money. If I stole it, would I be standing here still? Probably not. Duh. Daisy, you're not a very good police officer. Why don't you become a scientist? Just didn't work out for me, okay? Fighting the life of crime like my dad did? That's a better life. Now you have the way to remain silent. Hey, I, I didn't do it! It was Brookie! What? Seriously? Yeah, she ran out of money. She came in here, used an axe, and framed me. You can check! I don't have any money! Oh my gosh. Let me put an APP out for a BCC. That's a bookie cookie. Oh man, I can't believe she turned into such a thief. I know. She's a criminal now. It's really quite sad. So, we meet again, Brookie. Yeah, we meet again. Only you're free and I'm not. Oh, well, Daisy warned you that you'd live a life of crime if you took that bag of money that didn't belong to you. Well, I guess I didn't believe her. And I know I'm stuck in prison for my whole life. Yeah, you do the crime, you do the time. <laughs> Did you just fart? Right where I can't escape? Uh, sorry, like I said, you do the crime, you do the time. Well, smelling your stinkiness? Oh, this is the worst life ever! See, I told you, Brookie Cookie, 
You definitely do not want to live the life of crime, do you? Well, um, yeah, that seemed pretty scary. I cannot believe this! What, Molly? You agree now? No, I just think you've sold her a line of goods. And you know what? Uh, I, I don't think that it's going to be that bad. I don't think she'd actually be a criminal. How do you know, though, Molly? How do you know? And that's the bottom line. You should never take something that's not yours. It could lead you down a path to destruction. Yeah, I don't need this money that bad. But I need an ice cream that bad. Well, I still have some of my allowance. I could buy you an ice cream. Really? You'd do that for me? That's so sweet! Yeah, it's better than being a criminal, right? Yeah, because you're really mean to me as the criminal in Daisy's, like, little nightmare there. Well, criminals aren't very nice. It's just how it goes. Now, come on. Let's take that bag of money back to the police station, and we can see if we can come up with enough money to share an ice cream. Hello? What can I do for you two girls? Um, hi, I found this bag of money on the street, and, well, I'm returning it. Oh my gosh! Taylor Swift just called about that! She was coming through because she has a concert here in Brookhaven tonight. She said if anybody returned her bag of money, they could each have a thousand dollars and free tickets to her show tonight. What? Yup, that's right. It's all right here. The tickets and everything. And we can count out a thousand dollars for you. Oh my gosh! I guess being honest really does pay off. Holy guacamole! We can get like a million ice creams for that money. And we're going to see Taylor Swift tonight. Ha 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 ha! Okay, Daisy, I have to admit, you were right this time. Whoa, can't believe it. My sister actually admitted I'm right. But only this one time! Ha 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 ha! School day took forever to get over, and all I want to do is like sit on my couch and eat snacks all night long. <gasps> There's my mom! Mom! Mom, it's me! Molly, watch out! I'm gonna hit you! Oh my gosh, Molly. Remember, safety, always look first. Sorry, Mom, I'm just so excited to get into the car because I just want to go home. Let's go home! Well, we can't go home yet. We have to go get baby Kira. What? No! I don't want to stop in there! Oh, come on, Molly. <laughs> It'll only take me a minute. It's a minute that I'm not sitting on the couch eating snacks! Oh, sweet girl. Are you so sleepy? I got sleep all afternoon. Whoa, she never takes naps. There's probably something wrong with her. Um, did your brain explode from learning all your ABCs and 1, 2, 3s? No, I just feel very tired. Um, so did your sister say when she was coming home, Molly? No, she just said she's staying in the library at school and studying because she has a huge science test tomorrow and she's not getting anything less than 100. Okay, well, I guess she'll be home soon enough, hopefully in time for dinner. I'm going inside. I have a spot reserved for me on the couch with some snacks. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, Molly. Mm, this leftover pizza's delicious. Got any left for me? Of course I do, Molly. <laughs> um, so how was your day at school? It was great. Oh, no, you don't, Molly. No eating pizza before dinner. You'll, you'll not be hungry at all. But Dad's eating pizza. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Honey, I can see you eating the pizza. Okay, yeah, I was really hungry. I had to chase a lot of bad guys at work today. Mom, yeah, he uses a lot of energy being a cop. <laughs> and then he refuels with donuts and more donuts and, um... Some donuts. I, I don't feel good. Why are you running around all over the carpet like that? Because my tummy hurts. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Baby Kira, oh my gosh. Are you okay? No. My tummy hurts. You're probably just hungry. Dinner will be soon. Here, I'll turn on the TV. You can just chill. Um, You know, I know what you mean because like, whether you go to, like, preschool or whether you go to regular school, it just, it's a lot on your brain. You probably are just tired and hungry. All right, um, what are we going to watch? Um, ooh, Family Life is on. This is a new episode. Come on, baby Kira, let's watch it. I still don't feel good. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on out here? Oh, baby Kira, what's wrong, honey? She said she has a stomach ache. She's probably just really hungry. It's been a while since snack time. 
I'm that hungry. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Um, okay, Molly, go get the, go get the puke bucket. Why me? Because, Molly, somebody has to get it. Where do we leave it? Oh, wait, I think it's upstairs. Found the bucket! Oh, this is gonna be so gross. I bet baby Kira got the stomach bug or something. Ew! Molly, hurry up! She's about to throw up! Here you go! Here you go! Okay, I'm not holding the bucket. That's just... That, that's asking too much. Oh, baby Kira, do you feel better now? Uh... Yeah, a little bit. Oh, maybe she just ate something wrong. It's okay, baby Kira. Here, come on, lay on the couch and you'll feel all better. La 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 la. Dad, why are you still eating all that pizza? Oh, that's super good. <laughs> Honey, baby Kira just threw up. What? Poor baby. Yeah, will you go sit with her while I make dinner? Of course I will. Poor sweet little thing. You might not want to want... Um, want to eat that pizza around her because it'll probably make her pukey puke puke puke. Ugh, Molly, do you want to help me get stuff ready for dinner? Sure, Mom. Ugh, it's not like I wanted to relax after school or anything. Come on, Molly, we all have to pitch in. Okay, but then seriously, can I just like lay on the couch because I'm so tired. My brain hurts from the math test today. Sure, Molly, no problem. Mom, can I have a soda? No, Molly, it's almost dinner. Can I have a Hershey's bar? No, Molly, it's almost dinner. Mom, can I have a Reese cup? Molly, it's almost dinner. I'll feel so good, Dad. I got to throw up. Uh-oh. Sounds like she's going to have another throw-up session. Oh, ew. Um. Honey, don't eat that pizza around her. It's probably making her nauseous. Honey, I think baby Kira definitely has a stomach bug. Oh, my gosh. I do not want the stomach bug. It is the worst ever. I have to agree, Molly. And the germs are just like, they're like super powered. You can clean your whole house and you can still get the stomach bug like two weeks later. I'm moving out. Um, Molly, you live here. You can't move out. Poor girl. Everything's going to be okay, baby Kira. I don't think so. I, I don't feel good. Hello? Hey, Molly, what's up? Uh, kind of busy right now. Yeah, okay, whatever. Can you tell Mom I'll be home in a few minutes? And also, I want to know what's for dinner. Daisy, I just want to warn you, you probably don't want to come home. Like, ever. Yeah, you say that every time, Molly. Just so you know, I live there too when I'm coming home. No, you don't understand. This time, I really mean it. What are you talking about, Molly? Baby Kira, she's, she's got the stomach bug. Um, tell Mom I'm spending the night at Pookie's. <laughs> That's what I thought. Unfortunately, I've already been infected. Den, den, den! Well, I may be infected, but definitely been around the germs. So, um, good luck, Daisy, and, um, have a nice night. You're the one that needs luck, Molly. Luck you're not sticking your head in a bucket and puking in about two hours. Bye! Bye. Uh, I think maybe we should take baby Kira to the hospital. She just keeps throwing up and can't stop. Well, you're the mom. You know what's best. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh my gosh, honey. Did you come down with the stomach bug so quickly? Oh my gosh. Dad, say something. Are you alive? Must go to hospital. Okay, mom, you better get the car. I'll go get baby Kira. Thanks, Molly. I knew I could depend on you to help out. Baby Kira, come on. I'm taking you to the hospital. Uh Oh, why you go to the hospital? You have to, baby Kara. You have to. Come on. Oh, why you let you flee? They're going to make you feel all better. Come on. Okay, Molly. Will you stay with me? Of course I will. And, um, well, here's the thing. Dad also caught the stomach bug. I will think it's a stomach bug. You don't think it's a stomach bug? No, trust me. I've had plenty of them. They are awful, and you definitely have the stomach bug. <laughs> Come on, Molly, hurry up before your dad throws up again. Okay, baby, care out. Get it. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to drop you on the ground. Oopsie. You sit in the back with dad in your car seat because you're infected. I don't feel so good. Okay, well, I put a barf bag in the back for both of you. So, um, basically just try to throw up in that, okay? Mom, hurry! We need to get them to the hospital and get them some medicine. Stat! I'm going as fast as I can, Molly. I don't want to get a ticket. It'd be worth it. <laughs> if they threw up in your car, you'd be really sad. 
Wow, the hospital's so packed tonight. Everybody's in here and sick. Hi, I'm Dr. Sullivan. Oh, help me! Oh my gosh, you look awful. Tell me about it. Okay, what are your symptoms? Stomach pain, throwing up, poo-poos, oh, and, and uh, I, don't, I don't feel very good. I feel like weak and tired and I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to die. Okay, well, I don't think you're dying, um, but I am going to need to do some blood work. What? No, I'm afraid of needles. Sorry, but it's necessary to see what's going on. Now, this will just hurt a little tiny bit. Ha! Why do you have an axe? Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's for my surgery. <laughs> Wrong equipment. Okay, let's just take a little bit of blood, okay? Oh my gosh. I hope I don't pass out. Wow, you really are afraid of needles. Oh, that hurt! All right, I got enough. Now I just gotta go test it. Be right back. I'll put this through to the lab, and then I'll go check on the next patient. <laughs> okay... Male, he definitely has some sort of stomach issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, perfect. Oh, sweet little baby, are you feeling sick? Uh, yeah, I feel sick, and also my dad is next door, and he's sick too. Oh, both of you are sick. I bet it's the stomach flu. Yeah, I would bet money it's the stomach flu. Oop, test results are up. Oh my gosh. I would have never seen this coming. Oh, I thought it was a stomach bug, but no. No, it's much worse. Much, much worse. Excuse me, Mr. Acker. Can you make me feel better? I thought you had the stomach bug, but I was wrong, sir. What? Am I dying? Oh my god, am I dying? No, it appears you have food poisoning. What have you eaten in the last 10 hours? Pizza. Oh, I can't even think about the pizza. Did your daughter next door eat the pizza too? Yeah, she had it for lunch at, at preschool. I packed her lunch myself. Well, you both have food poisoning. I'm going to go get you both some medicine, and you should feel a lot better soon. Okay, where's those nausea pills? Scratching. Diarrhea. Ooh, that might be a good one too. Perfect. This should help my patients a whole lot. Here you go, Mr. Acker. Just go ahead and take these pills, and you're going to feel right as rain. Well, probably tomorrow, but... Are you going to make my daughter feel better, too? Yeah, but I'm going to give her a shot, unfortunately, because she's too little to swallow pills. Oh, no. Poor baby. Where's my wife? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen her in a while. I'm so sorry, baby Kira. There was nowhere to park. I don't care, Mama. You got to go here now. Oh, you must be Mrs. Acker. Yes, what's going on? What are those pills for? I'm so worried about my, my daughter and my husband. Well, these pills are because both of them have food poisoning. Food poisoning? Yep, it looks like from pizza. Oh my gosh. I told Dan that pizza was old and throw it out. He never listens to me about that. I'm, unfortunately, I have to give your daughter the medicine in a shot, though. What? Yeah, I'm fine. No, baby Kira, I'm really good at giving shots. I promise you'll hardly feel it. Just a quick little pinch. You can't swallow pills, so I have to give this to you, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, and three. Ow! Oh! See? And the pinch is over already. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Can I take them home now, doctor? You sure can. I expect both of them to start feeling better within a few hours. If they don't, give me a call and we can admit you in. Thank you so much, Dr. Sullivan. You're amazing. No problem. Have a good night. I'm on to my next patient. Can we go home? Oh, I'm so tired. I just want to go to bed. Yeah, as soon as I find Molly. Molly, what are you doing? Um, I found the vending machine and decided I wanted to buy everything. <laughs> oh, don't mention food. I'm gonna throw up. Whoopsie. <laughs>
you know it's right before dinner. Of course you can't have ice cream. But I'm hungry! Molly, dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You can wait that long. No, I can't! I'm starving! Mom, help! <laughs> can't wait any longer! Send ice cream! Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do a CPR! Dad, no! No! You need to send ice cream. I don't need CPR. You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man. <laughs> look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad, um, I can't do my homework. What? Why, why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and, um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so guess I don't have to do it tonight. Molly, pff, whatever. You still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just gonna skip it. Molly, no, you're not. The answer's no. Go do your homework. Ugh, the answer is always no, it seems. Ay, ay, ay. Something's wrong with the computer! Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> Look at that funny dog! It's smiling! <laughs> Molly, do your homework already. Family, dinner's ready! Huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But, but it's vacation! Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables? No way! I love Mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Marty, you're still eating it. Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, uh, 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 that, that's, that's not fair! Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Uh, if only I could live a life like my dad. Mom! 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 Yes, girls? Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, Mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? What? N no! It's almost midnight. You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night. <laughs> Molly, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please? What is it, Molly? Oh! M.G. Our parents say no to everything. Yeah, you do have a point there, Molly, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests. Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom, Dad, Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute! I didn't know I was a part of this decision! What are we telling them? Wait, I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault! Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything! Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy... Exactly! Anything that's fun is off limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Whoa, Molly, you kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow, um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? Oh, I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right, tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well, it's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed! Tomorrow's school! Um, no? Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh. All right. Yes, you can stay home. Ha <laughs> ha!
skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, <laughs> everything is a yes. Good morning, parents! Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh. Okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes and I want to lay on the counter. Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see. I've got the ice cream. Just a little bit of waffle. Mm hmm. So delicious! Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Ugh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Bloxie ate delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. Molly. Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream, but maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like, what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we um, borrow your car? What? No way. Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh, all right. But be careful, okay? We will. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> I'm going to ride in mom's car. I'm going to ride in mom's car. It's going to be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful. Mom's car is so amazing. Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not dad's though. It's mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven at all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got to go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. Piggy is after me. P I G G Y. Oh, Piggy, I won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa. 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 Oh, my God. Daisy, I just put Mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly. Get out. Get out. Daisy, I can't. My door is stuck. Ah! Daisy, I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight. I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out, Daisy, you did it. Oh my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like... Tell her that, uh, uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes, that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um, Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the, the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. 
That's genius! Ma, you have to be okay with us driving your Jeep into the pot. I keep saying pond! Me too, Marty. <laughs> it's pool. Let's practice again. Ma, you're totally cool with me driving your Jeep into the pool, right? Yes, I'm totally cool with it. Ah, this should be fine. Let's go home. Marty, I'm a little nervous. She's going to freak out. I don't think so. I mean, she has to say yes. It's still the yes day. Oh, boy. This might not go as planned. Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was going to take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, Mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes, remember? Because it's yes day. Oh, boy. I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, where is it? Uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Uh, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, where's the car? Um, uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh, yeah. You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh, my gosh, you drove my... Uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom, it's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the pool. Wait, you really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a thousand dollars? What? She's gone insane, Daisy! Well, in her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom! I got all the cash money! I got all the cash money! Molly, what are you gonna do with that much money anyway? Um, duh! I'm gonna go to the ice cream store and I'm gonna buy all the ice cream in the world! What? Seriously? Don't worry, Mom! I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna step over you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we might be able to get your Jeep out of the pool later. But first, we're going to go to the ice cream shop. Whoa, <laughs> there's Mom's Jeep. Oh, well, it was a nice Jeep while we knew it. Marty, she's not going to be happy tomorrow when that um Jeep isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh, boy. Yeah, good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Marley. Maybe they'll want their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Molly? Yeah, pretty much. You start with some bubble gum. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Molly, you're going to get a stomach ache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Molly. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. So good. Molly, did you eat $1,000 worth yet? Not even close. Molly, why did we eat all that ice cream? Oh. I know. I'm definitely going to throw up. Definitely. Uh, I've got to go to the bathroom. Where is there a bathroom? Molly, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No! Ah! Molly, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy! Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. We ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. Never! Molly, I think I'm going to be sick. Ah! Ah, me too. Ah! So much ice cream!
Marty, get off of me! Why are you laying on me? Sorry. I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could... Bleh. Ew, Marty, gross! I don't want any more yes days. Never again! I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm gonna have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you can do it alone, Marty. This is just crazy! Babies are crying. Yeah, Marley, it's what babies do cry. Look at this new one. She's so cute. Aww. Why do we have to be in here with these little babies? Because, Marley, we're little kids and and we have to be in the adoption center. But all that they ever adopt are the babies. They never adopt us. I know, Marley, but we have to keep trying. We can't give up hope. <coughs> Okay, but do you have something that I can plug my ears with? Why, Marley? Because all I hear all day is wee, wee, wee. These babies sure do cry a lot. Don't worry, Marley. I'm sure they'll all be adopted soon enough. And then we'll be left here in the quiet all by ourselves. Hello? Where's the adoption center? Oh, oh, here it is. Oop, look, Marley. We got a fresh one. <laughs> yeah, well, don't get your hopes up because she's probably going to adopt the cute little baby. Oh, look at the cute little babies. See? Told ya. Hi, over here, I'm Daisy. Hey, over here, I'm Molly. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Daisy. And we know you're not going to adopt us, but we still want to say hi to you because we're super awesome. Daisy, that's not going to make her adopt us. Well, I'm just being myself. If she doesn't want to adopt me the way I am, well, then she doesn't want to adopt me. Daisy, no one ever wants to adopt us. We're just totally unwanted. Oh my gosh, I think you guys are adorable. Are you sisters? Yeah, we're sisters. She's not my sister. Well, I don't know who she is. Daisy! <laughs> just kidding. Aw, you guys have a great sense of humor. I think you're so cute. I totally want to adopt you. Wait, what? Don't you want one of these crying babies? <coughs> no, not really. I think you girls are pretty awesome. Well, maybe you just want to adopt my sister. I mean, she's super adorable. Yeah, maybe you want to adopt her and not me. Nope, I pretty much want to adopt both of you. Really? You want to be our mom? Yeah, sure I do. OMG! We got a mom. We got a mom. Hello? Uh, where are the two toddlers? Oh, they're right over here. I'm going to adopt them. Uh, no, I don't think so. Wait, what? What, what are you talking about? I've already adopted them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't know we were adopted. Me either. Must be she called about us and we didn't know it. I don't know, Molly. She seems kind of, well, evil. Well, she does have the same hair color hair color as you. I mean, that can't all be bad, right? Who cares about a hair color, Molly? She seems crazy. I have the paperwork right here. Oh, um, well, I guess it's official then. I'm so sorry, Molly and Daisy. I, I wanted to adopt you, but it looks like Karen here is going to be taking you home. <laughs> really really sad about it bye what no. mom that's not your mom you can start calling me mom why are all these annoying babies crying oh daisy this is not good this is not good at all well come on then molly and daisy i'm your mom you have to come with me and you have to do what i say uh okay uh Get in. Uh, but I don't want to get pushed in the car. Oh, I am not a baby. Well, I don't have my car. It's in the shop. So we're going to have to walk home like this. Um, okay. I could kind of make this fun. Whee! No fun. No smiles. No laughing ever. Daisy, uh, I don't know about this. Be quiet. <laughs> I'm trying to get my workout in. Um, okay. Whoa, she takes her workouts pretty seriously. 
Huh, you guys are so big, you're making it harder for me. Wait, what? Why are we staying in a hotel? I don't have a house, duh. What? We don't even get a house? Like, we got adapted and we we have to we have to stay here? Yeah, this should be good enough. Wow, this is actually a pretty nice motel room, but does it have a bathroom? Okay, it has a bathroom, but does it have a kitchen? No. We'll eat takeout. Oh. That's not healthy. I don't eat takeout. Well, you do now because I'm the mom and what I say goes. Uh, okay. Um, well, at least we have a bed. No, that's my bed. You can sleep over there on the table or the couch. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, this is horrible, Daisy. Well, Marley, at least we have a mom now. Yeah, an evil one. Uh, excuse me, be quiet. It's time for bed. We didn't have dinner yet. Uh, you can have dinner tomorrow night. What? Didn't they feed you at the orphanage? Um, we only had a snack. Snack's good enough. I'll get you breakfast in the morning. Now be quiet. It's time for bed. Uh, okay. Daisy, this lady is crazy. We have to get out of here and find our real mom. She is our real mom. She has the paperwork and everything. I don't want this lady to be my mom. Don't be my mom! Are you still talking? Go to sleep. Okay, Karen. You can call me mom. Yeah, okay, Karen. Molly, I think I could use the computer and try to get us out of you. I could maybe find somebody else to, 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 um, to adopt us. Yeah, maybe that nice lady who is our mom. Yeah, maybe, Molly. Oh, she's got a password protected. Daisy, there's no choice. We just have to run away. <laughs> Look at that. It's looking funny. Molly, shh. You're going to get us caught. Now, come on. I think I found her address. Really? Wow. You're good at hacking into computers. Let's go, Molly. <laughs> no worries. Karen is sound asleep. I didn't get to eat dinner. I'm so hungry. Okay, according to this, we have to go this way. Here it is. Time to go find my real mom. Knock, knock. Hello? Who could be at the door at this hour? Mm, I hope it's not a burglar. Daisy, I was wondering when you were going to get here. Sorry, you were running really fast. Girls? What are you doing here? You can't let that evil Karen adopt us! Wait, what? The ink's not even dry on the adoption papers. You could erase it. You could. She's evil. She didn't feed us dinner. She's making us live in a hotel. She doesn't have a bed for us. She makes us sleep on the couch or the table. Whoa. She sounds evil for sure. I stole the adoption papers. Here. I erase them and write your name on them. Oh, I don't know about that, girls. She's evil! You have to. Please, Mom. Please. You were meant to be our mom. Yeah, you really will. Okay, girls, we'll do it, and I'll turn it in first thing in the morning. In the meantime, there's a bed upstairs for each of you. What? Really? Yep. Go right ahead. Go up the elevator. Oh, this is going to be the best life ever. Wait, bunk beds? Oh, <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, I want to sleep in this thing. I want to sleep in it. Molly, go to bed. Yeah, I'm too excited. Ay, ay, ay. Seriously, Molly, you're gonna live here the rest of your life. You could go to sleep. Oh, so much more comfortable than the orphanage bed. <sighs> uh, get out of those beds right now. Wait, what? Karen! What are you doing here? You mean mom? What are you doing at this lady's house? She's not even your mom. She is our mom. We chose her as our mom. You don't get to be my, our mom. Don't be our mom. I am your mom. The paperwork says it. Mom! Mom! Whoa, Molly. I got here as soon as I could. Mom, Karen's in our room. I know. Why didn't you stop her? Because I was busy on the phone with the police. What? What are you talking about? You kidnapped my daughters. Actually, no correction. We came here on our own. These adoption papers are fake. You weren't approved for adoption at all. What? Uh, how'd you find that out? 
because I'm smarter than you, Karen. But don't worry, girls. Your adoption papers from me are official. I'm your mom. Now, Karen, get out of my house before the police get here. You better start running. <laughs> Karen's getting arrested. Karen's getting arrested. What? No! I don't want her to be my mom. Don't be my mom. Oh, well, if you don't want me to be. No, 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 I meant Karen. I definitely want you to be my mom. Me too. We're a family forever, right, mom? That's right, girls. Family forever. How to train a puppy. Go. No, no, no. Oh, a Mastiff. That's a huge dog. Holy guacamole. Looks like they're walking a horse. <laughs> Molly, I'm here. Brookie, hey. Hey, Molly. I'm so excited about this special sleepover. So what makes it so special? <laughs> You're about to find out. What are you looking at on your iPad? Oh, nothing. It's all a part of the surprise. Whoa, <laughs> you packed a huge bag. Are you staying for a week or a night? Just a night. My mom says I have to be home in the morning. We're all going for a family breakfast. Whoa, cool. That sounds fun. So come on. I want to know what this amazing sleepover is about. Come on. I'm so excited. Okay, well, here goes. <laughs> uh, Molly, why are you whistling like that? Here, Oreo. Here, here, Oreo. Who's Oreo? Wait a minute. You're calling to the cookies down in the refrigerator? Molly, you might have a problem. <laughs> no, no, no. Oreo is my adorable puppy. What? You got a puppy? Oh my gosh. He's adorable. Hi. His name's Oreo? Yep, his name is Oreo. He hasn't really left my side. Well, except for just now because I was hiding him so I could surprise you. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted a puppy. He's so adorable, Molly. Ugh, it's not fair. How come you got a puppy and I didn't? Wait, what? You, you aren't happy for me? I'm trying to be happy for you, but it's just not fair. I mean, you don't even do your homework. You got a puppy and I always do my homework. I didn't get a puppy. I can't believe you're saying this to me right now, Brookie. I mean... You just seem like really sour grapes. Sour grapes, what does that mean? It means you're jealous. Um, okay, yeah, I admit I'm jealous that you got a puppy and I didn't. I mean, look at my shirt. It's obvious I love dogs. Ruff, 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 ruff. I didn't even know you liked dogs. Aw, well, you can come hang out with Oreo anytime you want. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Now, come on, let's enjoy the sleepover. No need to be jealous, Brookie. You're my bestie, and and I don't want you to be sad. Come visit Oreo anytime. Well, it's not the same as having my own dog, but yeah, okay. Ruff, 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 ruff. Oh, hi, little guy. Aren't you the sweetest? Yeah, he really is. Come here, Oreo. Come here, Oreo. Ruff, 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 ruff. Oh, Molly, he just seems to want to stay by my side. What? No, he's my dog. He should come over to me. Come here, Oreo. <laughs> Uh, Molly, I'm sorry. He's just like, he's stuck to me like glue. He must really like you or something. Well, I am sort of the dog whisperer. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Come on, let's go watch a movie. Oreo! <laughs> Come on, Oreo. Let's go. Oh my gosh, my dog is attached to Brookie's hip. Seriously. Sorry about that, Molly. I mean, uh, I, I know Oreo's your dog, but he really just seems to like me. Hi! Is the sleepover started yet? Where's Oreo? Uh, he's like totally attached to Brookie Cookie for some reason. Maybe it's because... Whoa! Look at this! A wolf! Yeah, we're not watching that. Boring. What were you saying? I was saying maybe it's because Brookie Cookie is amazing and our dog just loves um, her. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Oreo. Wait, where do Oreo go? Uh, he likes to sleep under the couch when we're watching TV. He's kind of crazy like that. Who wants popcorn? Not me. I'm going to have a healthy snack. Not me. I'm going to have a healthy snack. <laughs> My sister's so boring. She eats the most boring snacks. <laughs> I like your song, Molly. I 
don't like it? Molly, that's rude. Sorry, but it's true. My sister's so boring. She eats the most boring snacks. <laughs> You're so silly, Molly. She's so annoying is more like it. Yep. But only to you, Daisy. Only to you. Oh, sorry, Oreo. Here, I'll toss a few pieces of popcorn under the couch for you. Oh, that's so nice, Brookie. Ugh, that was a long movie. And ugh, I'm so full of popcorn and snacks. Molly, you're supposed to totally eat the popcorn slowly so it lasts through the whole movie. Nope, nope, didn't do it. Ugh, so full. Besides, the movie's over, so I guess I sort of accomplished that. No, you didn't, Molly. You ate all of your popcorn in the first 15 minutes. Then you went back for seconds and thirds and fifteenths. Yeah, which explains why my stomach hurts. <laughs> well, I have to go to bed kind of early tonight, Molly, because I'm having breakfast with my family in the morning, remember? Okay, yeah, come on. You can set up your sleeping bag in my room. Oreo! <laughs> come on, boy! Here, yeah, boy! Sorry, Oreo's just following me around again. Oreo, you're my dog. Apparently, Oreo's forgotten. Come on, Oreo. Come on, come on. Oh, I think Oreo just wants to sleep on my bed in my sleeping bag. Fine, Oreo. Ugh, I feel like my dog likes you better than me. And I'm the dog's owner. Sorry, Molly, I told you. Dogs just really like me. And cats, and hamsters, and fish. <laughs> I'm sort of an animal whisperer. Fine. I mean, Oreo lives here, so I guess Brookie can sleep with him just one night. Where's Daisy? She's still brushing her teeth. She said she'll be up in a minute. Okay, fine. Well, good night, Oreo! <coughs> Seriously, my dog is already asleep? Ugh! The dog never falls asleep when it sleeps in my bed. It just whines all night long. Look at it all snuggled under the covers with Brookie. You'd think that dog was her dog. What's going on in there? What are you doing, Daisy? I just want to make sure you two aren't getting into a fight. And I was walking into the middle of it. No, we're not fighting. Then why do you seem so irritated, Molly? Because Oreo just wants to hang out with Brookie. Well, maybe Brookie should own Oreo. What? Don't say that. Rude. Ugh. Sisters are so annoying. <laughs> Molly. Molly. Hey, I've got to leave. Molly, can you hear me? Molly. Molly, I have to leave now. I have to meet my family for breakfast. Molly? Well, I guess I'll call her later. She's sleeping so peacefully, I won't bug her. Okay, I'll see you later, Oreo. Bye. Ah, that was the best night's sleep I've gotten in a long time. Ah, now I need a big breakfast. Yes! Oreo! Oreo! Whoa, where's Blucky? I, I don't know. I, I guess she went home early. Oh, yeah. Uh, she had breakfast with her family this morning, remember? Oh, yeah. She should have said bye, though. Yeah, she probably didn't want to wake us up. Yeah, true. Oreo! <laughs> Where'd Oreo go? Is he under the bed? No, I don't see him down there. He's probably downstairs waiting for breakfast. You're probably right. <laughs> He's just like me. He wants breakfast first thing in the morning. Oreo, where are you? Oh boy, this is gonna be a deliciously healthy breakfast. A waffle with some banana. Oreo! Ore Oreo! Daisy, Oreo's not coming. That's weird. Oreo, are you in the washing machine? If you are, that's a terrible place to hide. You're gonna get washed with the underwear. Um, Daisy, Oreo is nowhere. Check the bathroom, Molly. Maybe he had to go potty. Oh, my gosh. My sister's ridiculous. She actually thinks dogs use the potty. Um, they go potty outside, Daisy. Ew, they do? Gross. <laughs> oh, boy. My sister's clueless when it comes to dogs. What do you think Oreo is? 
I don't know. He's probably around here somewhere. Oreo! Oreo! He's probably just sleeping somewhere here or hiding to be funny. But we're out of coffee, so I'm going down to Starbucks for a cup. Do you want anything? No. I'm just starting to get a little worried. Where could Oreo be? Maybe the door got open and he went outside. Ah! That's a horrible thought! Oreo? Oreo? Okay, he's not in the house. And, 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 and he might be in this entire huge town? Oh my gosh. Oreo! Oh, Oreo. Ruff, ruff. You're such a cute little dog. What? Flooky Cookie stole Oreo? Oh my gosh, I have to call my sister. Ruff, 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 ruff. I know, Oreo. I'm sort of glad you're at Starbucks with me too. Although I'm sure Molly and Daisy miss you. Hey, Daisy, what is it? Molly, I, I have some news to tell you. What? Is it about Oreo? Did you find him? Yes, Molly, but it's bad news. Oh my god! What happened to Oreo? Molly, um, someone stole him. I, I don't want to tell you who. You better tell me who, Daisy. I need to know so I can call the cops. It was, it was... Spit it out, Daisy! It was Plucky Cookie. W wait, w what? My best friend stole my dog? Molly, I think you better come down to Starbucks right away. I'll be there in a minute. Bye, Molly. Oh, boy. This is not going to be good. Not good at all. O-M-G. My sister was right. Brookie, you stole my dog. What? No, it's it's not like that, Molly. I promise. Well, if the shoe fits, wear it, princess. What? What are you talking about? I'm saying that... You have my dog, and I've been looking for him all morning, and I couldn't find him, and I was scared. And here f to come to find out, my best friend is having a latte with my puppy. I'm I'm sorry, Molly. It, it, it's not my fault. Yeah, you were so jealous I got a dog. You stole him. We can't be best friends anymore. I don't I don't even care about you anymore, Molly. Why would you say something so mean to me? <laughs> Okay, well, that was a bit harsh, but why did you steal my dog? I have to call the cops. Molly, no, don't don't call the cops. Oreo followed me home, and I didn't know it. I, I, I'm just here to meet my family for breakfast. And, and as soon as breakfast was over, I was going to bring Oreo straight back to your house. I told you I was the dog whisperer. What? Oreo snuck out of the house and followed you here? Oreo, is that true? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh my gosh, Brookie, I'm sorry I accused you. Oreo, don't you love me? Don't you want to live with me? Oh, that's not it at all, Molly. It's just Oreo heard I was going to Starbrooks, and what dog doesn't want to have a delicious muffin? Oreo, I would have bought you a muffin. Ruff, ruff, ruff. See, as soon as you mentioned that he could have a Starbucks muffin, he's back to being your dog. Oh, you little devil, you. Brookie, are we okay? Sure we are, Molly. But try next time to not accuse me until you know. Okay, I promise. And thanks for watching out for Oreo. No problem, Molly. Have fun with your family. Come on, Oreo. Let's get a muffin. Or a cupcake. Or a donut. Which one do you want? Ruff, ruff, ruff! All three? <laughs> You're definitely my dog. We're going on a play date. Yeah, baby Kira, this is going to be so much fun. You're going to love it. I know, I know if I like play dates. Trust me, when I was your age, I loved play dates. Mom, don't try to get in the stroller. I know that you're tired from being up with baby Kira all night, but you can't fit in the stroller. Don't worry, Molly. I'm not going to try to sit in the stroller. It looks like you did just right now, Mom. Don't lie. Okay, maybe I wanted to sit down for just a second. I want to get on my stroller and play around. Yeah, when we get over to the playground, you can run around, okay? You're not my mom. I don't have to listen to you. Listen here, little Molly. Don't call your sister a brat or any other names. It's her big day. She's at her play date. Okay, well, have fun, baby Kira. Why did I have to come along? Because if you're going to babysit your little sister this summer on school break, you have to know exactly what these playdates are all about. 
Uh, looks like baby Kira just runs around and plays. Pretty much, but I always encourage her to, like, find new friends, talk to people, you know, socialize. Okay, well, um, there's no other kids around right now, but... Oh, baby Kira! Are you happy on the swing? Ow! And not meant for you, you too fat. What? No, I'm not. Don't say that. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, how come you can't make this swing go? Um, I don't know. It, Cause it's broken or something, I think. I think I'll just sit here and eat a piece of pizza. Aha, uh -huh. sure. Oh, my little sister can be so rude. Don't make me give you a time out. And now I can relax while Molly watches baby Kira. Oh, I see what you were doing, mom. Making me babysit while you relax at the beach. I don't think so. I'm getting in the water. Molly, you have to watch baby Kira or at least help me. Okay, baby Kira, come on, we're swimming. Molly, she can't swim out that far. She'll drown. No, she won't. Look, ooh, whoa, what's down there? It's like a whale. Just a big rock, though. I used to love coming to swim here when I came to baby playgroups. Wait, where's, where's baby Kira? I thought you were watching her. Oh my God, we lost her. Uh, wait, is she tri Is that Rainbow Friends? And did she just go in that house? Because if she did, oh my gosh. Bum, bum, bum! This can't be good, guys. What'd you do with my sister, crazy? All right, I'm gonna go look for my sister, see if she's in here. Whoa, this is a nice house. Okay, that's not my sister's room. That's not my sister in there. Maybe I just thought that was my sister. Ooh, nice bathroom. Ah! Why are you out here? Probably wants to know why I'm in his house. Okay, fine, I'm leaving your house. I thought my sister came in here. But I guess not. We're on a play day. And okay, anyway. Whoa, I went in the wrong room. I can't get out. I can't figure it out. Oh my gosh, guys. I really don't know how to get out of here. Um, apparently this is where they trap people under the stairs. Baby, how do I get out of your house already? I'm gonna take the back door. Oh, it's locked. Oh my god, guys. I'm locked in here with one of the rainbow friends. This isn't good. Phew, I'm finally out. Molly, did you find baby Kira? Um, well, uh, Molly! You lost her! Okay, come on. We'll find her together. All right. Baby Kira! This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Baby Kira, where are you? B baby Kira? Sorry, I lost you. Baby Kira! Get down from that fountain! Oh, boy, Molly. I can see you're gonna have your hands full this summer. Baby Kira, um, you do not run out of our sight, okay? I want to go wild park. Wait, what? They put in a water park here? They sure did, Molly. It's been a long time since you've been a baby. Yeah, want to go to the water park? Let's go. Holy guacamole, look at that water park. It looks amazing. Hmm, it looks like it's starting to get dark. We might have to go home soon. Not before we go to the water park, Mom. And they put in a cinema here too? And Scooby-Doo is playing? Oh my gosh, so much better than when it was just like boring swings and a slide when I was a baby. <laughs> Come on, baby Kira, last one to the top, so rotten egg. Um, Molly, wait for your little sister, please. She's just a baby. Come on, baby Kira. I can't. I come back. I just have a very short day, so it takes me a long time. I know it takes you a long time because you're still really tiny and short. Whoa, look at all these. Now, since you've never... Baby Kira, what are you doing? Baby Kira? Baby Kira, are you okay? Oh my god, I think she just fell into the water. I'm coming, baby Kira. Ow, oh, that was not very deep. Ouch. Ba baby Kira? All right, I, I lost my sister. Again, I think it's safe to say that I'm not going to get the job this summer. <laughs> oh, well, I just wanted to eat ice cream and hang out and play Roblox anyway. Oh, my gosh, guys. Where is my little sister? Oh, wait, there she is. Baby Kira, you cannot go through the railing. Oops, yeah, I didn't mean to. Um, now we have to go back this way. Go and walk back and try again. Yeah, this time, don't go through the railing. Just go up the stairs, and then we'll take a raft together, okay? Molly, is everything Okay. Oh, man. Better not tell my mom I lost her again. Everything's fine. Molly, you lost your sister again, didn't you? Um, Molly? Sorry. Okay, baby Kara, come on now. Molly, I'll give you a timeout if you don't tell me the truth from now on. I know. We can't lie, Mom. Got it. Do, 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 do. Okay, baby Kara, I'm going to launch the raft. Baby Kara, are you ready? I got me. I swear will win you. Here we go. Here comes the raft. Get on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh my gosh, now I'm not on. Okay, there we go. Ha ha ha! Baby Kara, this is gonna be the most fun play day ever, even though you didn't really play with any other kids. Just your sister. Wee! This is fun! Ah! You're crazy! I love it! Yeah, it is really fun, huh? Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> I go crazy! Oh, oh, oh! Ouch! Ah! What happened? What happened? 
happened is we flipped upside down and now I'm off the raft. Uh, oh, wow, Molly, how did it go? Um, well, um, our raft sank and I can't find baby Kira. Molly, this is the third time you couldn't find her. She is coming. Oh, wait, now I'm going backwards and I can't stop going backwards. All right, here we go. Oh, it's probably not a good thing that the water park's rafts sink. I love it, but I have a go poo-poo. Uh, Mom, you're all about the dirty diapers. I'm just chilling. Ah, oh, okay, Molly. I guess we should get going home, but what did you think of your play date? I'm playing with friends, boy. Yeah, <laughs> but you got to go down a water slide. That was pretty fun. Yeah, and disappear three times. Come on, let's go um, potty and change your diaper, and we'll eat some pizza. Okay, baby Kira's changed. Mom, it's not that late. Can we please go see the new Scooby-Doo movie? I go see Minions. No, Minions not out yet. See, it says coming soon. Um, yeah, sure. I guess we could watch Scooby-Doo and eat some pizza. Yes! Come on, let's get tickets. Oops, I almost forgot the tickets. <laughs> How many? Um, me, my baby sister, and my mom. Three tickets, okay? Here you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Whoa, I got the hiccups. I didn't even eat the pizza yet, and I got the hiccups. Holy guacamole, man. I got pizza, and I'm going to watch a movie, and it's been the best play date ever with you, Molly. Oh, baby Kira, that's so sweet. Mm. Theater pizza is always the best. You're saying that to me, and I've been eating it for a really long time, so I've been around a lot longer than you guys have. Yeah, well, I guess I don't need to tell you, huh, Mom? Not really. Ooh, his epic tail begins, get it? <laughs> Ma, quiet, the, the movie about the star. Okay, okay, I'll be quiet. Ah, this was actually a pretty fun play date, even though it was for a baby. <laughs> I get to eat pizza and watch a movie? Sign me up! Oh, baby Kira, aren't you excited? It's your first day of daycare! Whoa, whoa, I kind of went up on the curb. Oopsie. Ugh, driving your dad's car is so difficult. I wish my car wasn't in the shop. Oh well, I eventually got it. <laughs> baby Kira, are you coming? I'll buy go to prequel. Why not? You're going to make so many friends, honey. And your teacher, Jenna, I met her last week. She's so nice. I'm going, going, not going. Baby Kira, please get out of the car right now. I'm not going. Baby Kira, we talked about this. Come on. Your teacher is so nice. You're going to have so much fun. I want to stay home all day and play with my toys. I don't know, but I don't know what you did, but what you did, but what all right, we're going to try not to talk baby talk because you're a big girl now. I'm not big girl. I do girl. I stay home. Come on, let's go in and just talk to the teacher. You can see me a hiding. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Acker. Oh, who do you have behind you there? This is my daughter, Kira. She's being a little shy today since it's her first day of preschool. Oh, hi. I'm Jenna. Nice to meet you. You can't see me. I'm invisible. Oh, I don't think you're invisible because I can see you, sweetie. Look, you're going to have so much fun with the other kids. You're the first one here, though, so uh, maybe we can get to know each other. All right, baby Kira, I have to get to work. I'll see you later. Don't leave me here, Mama. Don't leave me here, Mama. It's going to be okay, baby Kira. Do you want a fuzzy stuffed animal to hug? No, I want to go home, play with my toys, and... And, and hug my stuffed elephant. Oh, you have a stuffed elephant at home? Well, here at preschool, we have a stuffed hippo. And he absolutely loves snuggles. Here, I'm going to give them to you, okay? I don't think this is going to work. Well, I'm sure it will, sweetie. Okay, I'm going to go check you in. And the other students should be arriving soon. Good morning, Miss Jenna. Good morning, Susie. It's so good to see you. It's great to see you too. Hey, guess what? There's a new student here named Kira. Would, would you make her your friend, Susie? Of course I will. I love making everyone my friend. Great. She's right over here. Baby Kira, this is one of our other students, Susie. You guys, I think, will be great friends. I won't be anyone's friend. Oh, Baby Kira, that's not a very nice attitude to have on your first day of preschool. I don't need friends. I need my mommy. I need my mommy! 
Oh, sweet girl. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, look, Stephen's here. Good morning, Stephen. Hi. Whoa, you had a growth spurt over the weekend, I see. Well, we have a new student, baby Kira. Come meet her, Stephen. Hi, I'm Stephen. Oh, kill I want to go home. Wow, I think we need to have a better nice attitude, okay, baby Kira? I don't want to have to call your mommy. Yeah, call my mommy. This is total What did you just say? She said a bad word. Whoa, teacher, baby Kira said a bad word. <laughs> okay, Steven, not funny. Baby Kira, we do not say that word. I'm sorry you're sad you're at preschool, but this is where your mom says you needs to you need to be. I want to. This is total. All right, everyone, just play with the toys. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I've never had a student say that word before. Um, I think I should call her mom. Hi, this is Mrs. Acker. How can I help you? Hi, um, this is Jenna from the preschool, and oh no, what happened? Is baby Kira all right? Um, yes, but, um, well, we're a little shaken up right now because baby Kira said a naughty word. What? She's never said a naughty word in her entire life. Well, she did. What word did she say, Jenna? She said... What? Are you serious? I, I can't believe this! Well, she did. I don't know what you want to do about it, but, um, I'll be right there. I need to see baby Kira for myself. Yeah, it'd probably be better if you pick her up. Maybe she's just not ready for preschool yet. I want to go home. I want to go home. You know what, baby Kira? I don't know if you're really ready for preschool yet, but your mommy is coming. Really? I could go home, play with my toys, and be with my mommy. But here's something for you to think about, baby Kira. Every child. Well, they have sometimes a difficult transition starting school. It's okay to be afraid or to even miss your mommy or daddy. But eventually you're going to make friends here and have so much fun. I want to have fun. Hello, is anyone here? Oh, yeah, we're back here in the play center. Hi, Mrs. Acker. I'm sorry to have to call you during the work day. Mama, mama, mama. I'm just so shocked that she said such a naughty word. Not my daughter. I'm sorry, but I just don't think this is even possible. You must have misheard her. Well, Mrs. Acker, she said it twice. I'm pretty sure I didn't mishear her. Well, maybe you did. I mean, have you had your annual hearing screening? Yes, I had my annual physical with my hearing tested. Okay, I'm just saying, maybe you have some wax in your ears because my daughter doesn't say naughty words. Um, okay, well, um, uh, do you want to bring her back tomorrow or do you think maybe she needs to be home for a little longer and she's not ready to start pre-k? She's ready and we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> this was all just a big misunderstanding. Okay, well, baby Kira, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully with less of a potty mouth. Okay, Susie, Steven, let's um gather up. We're going to get our snacks going. Oh, hey, Brookie, what's up? Hey, Molly, I was just wondering, are you excited about your half day? Yeah, you should come over and hang out. It'd be super fun. Sorry, I can't. I've got a ton of chores to do. Ugh, that sounds like the pits. Totally does. Now, baby Kira, I expect you to tell me the truth. Did you say a naughty word? Um, Brookie, there is some sort of drama going on here. Um, I'll call you back later, okay? Okay, Molly, bye. Bye. What? Baby Kira said a naughty word? Uh, no, I didn't say it. I said... Stinky potatoes. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the oldest line in the book. She didn't say stinky potatoes. Um, well, I, I, uh, well, you can try preschool again tomorrow. Maybe we'll have better luck. Molly, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're watching some TV since we're home early from school. Early dismissal is the best day ever. I had the worst day ever. I was total. Holy guacamole! Where did you hear that? I uh, hear what? That super naughty word. You can't say that. That's a that's that, 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 that's a very naughty word. Ah! Oh my gosh! Girls, what's going on? Um, baby Kira said a naughty word. Really? What naughty word? You better whisper it in your ear, Mom. That's what I thought she said. Baby Kira? I can't believe this. 
Jenna was right. She didn't have wax in her ears. That is very naughty. You are not supposed to say that. Oh, why even um, go back to you tomorrow? Well, you're not only going back to pre-K, but you're also going to have your time out for the first time. Whoa. Your first time out. This is a big deal, baby Kira. Oh, but Kira. <laughs> you know the timeout chair. You've seen your sister Molly in it plenty of times. Go sit in it. Oh, me? No, I haven't been in the timeout chair that many times. Yeah, right, Molly. <laughs> uh, you spend more time in the timeout chair than you do anywhere else. Can't believe my foot timeout. <laughs> Don't worry, baby Kira. The timeouts get easier as they go on. You sort of entertain yourself by thinking things in your mind, like, what kind of snack do I want when I get out of timeout? Molly, no talking to the prisoner. Sorry, baby Kira. You're in this alone. <laughs> Poor kid. I remember my first time out. It was not fun. 